Hey, what is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. My name is Tim Ricky, and today we're continuing Totally Not Prepared into Episode 7. It is Day 68, and unfortunately, I don't have face cam yet. Uh, something happened, and Amazon sent it to someone in New York, and I don't even live in New York. But anyway, they found the package, they're mailing it to me, it should be here today, but there's a massive snowstorm going on, so... I'm optimistic that perhaps by next week we'll be ready to go. Anyway, who do we got here so far? We've got Robert, Owen, Mr. Metal Man, uh, my root beer, Zorin, and Al. How y'all doing today? Happy Friday. Glad to have you guys here. Uh, go ahead and leave a like if you would like to. Helps out the stream. Helps us get a good leg up getting started. Hope you guys like the paint job I've applied here. This portion of the base here is now upgraded to cobble, and I'm gonna leave it there. As for the rest, I think I'm just gonna do wood, like those towers over there that are painted are just wood. It's just regular wood, uh, no big deal. I don't think, you know, it doesn't need to be like concrete or anything like that. So uh, yeah, what do you think? This is a pretty classic color scheme for me, kind of like a white, red, and black channel theme color sort of thing going on. That Tom guy is here. How's it going, GNS? Going great today. Uh, it's my day off, so of course I'm always enjoying myself here. And I've been playing a little bit this morning, and uh, yeah, just having a, a good old time here. Robert says he's loving the castle. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Let me get up on the top if I can. I think I have to pull up there. I don't actually have a way to get up. Yeah. Okay. I'm out of wood, <laughs> so perhaps today we need to do something... Uh, some resource gathering. I do have like plenty of gas. I did some gas collection But uh, yeah, you can jump down in here. I put some lanterns down, you know Theoretically you could like defend from up here. I think it's a pretty cool view Anyway All four towers are basically the same thing. I think it looks pretty sharp up here. I like it. I need to get a, a ladder or s Some parkour skills or, <laughs> or something like that Speaking of parkour, um, is anyone would anyone like to see some content related to Dying Light 2? Because I've been keeping an eye on that game for a long time. It's finally out. I'm really considering getting it and like either doing a live stream or maybe just a couple videos to see how the response is. You know, I'm always eager to kind of branch out. Yeah, that guy Tom. Awesome to have three-day weekends. Yeah, it's it's been a life changer really for me. Uh, the work-life balance is so much better now. Hey, Nag is here. What's up, Nag? Loving the castle. Yeah, it's coming out pretty good. I mean, not functional. I will head down though. I'll do a quick tour inside these. So I've got it all painted up. It looks pretty good. I might continue playing with the colors. But I used the cool spiral staircase for this one. It was a perfect fit. So I, I just said, why not? And I think Echo is building his base over there to the east, or maybe it's down here. I'm going to do some exploring later with the gyrocopter and see if I can track that down. But I'll show you. Oh, I probably shouldn't jump off the edge. I don't think I have anything into parkour. Oh, there we go. Trying to read and go down spiral staircases at the same time. This also has a spiral staircase, but it's like the old style, traditional style. All right, some people talking about Dying Light 2, okay. Yeah, it does look very linear. I think it's like something where if I did a series on it, it would just be like the story and then done. Because, it, you know, it's open world, but it's not really like survival crafting, build your base, kind of doesn't have that longevity to it. Uh, but there should be some replayability from what I hear because the storyline could be different depending on what decisions you make in the dialogue and stuff. So how do you like that tower right there? Because I redid that this morning because it was like an awkward round tower. And then I realized, well, there's the seven meter round shapes now. So I could have made the same thing, but like a perfect circle. And I just put it on top of a cube because I thought it would look cooler that way. And this was going to be the garage and the gyrocopter landing pad. But then I, I was thinking probably behind the keep, I have a big empty area. I think that will end up being... Because I was going to make this the garden back here, but I think it would be better to have the gyrocopter pad back here because it's like flat. We can kind of build it out a little bit further and um, I just think it would it would like fit the base a little bit more and that would probably hurt me. I'm not going to jump down there, but I do want to show you like the front door. So 
So Mikey says it's cool. I should give it a try. I think I will. I think I'll probably pick it up like tonight and download it uh, while I'm sleeping and I'll give it a try this weekend. So I love like uh, the shapes, you know, I'm not trying to toot my own horn there, but I like putting these like, I don't know what they're called, the, like the little mini cubes here and um, kind of protrude the crenellations a little bit. I think it, it looks pretty cool. So anyway, what can we do today? Um, I think I'll show you guys what I've done downstairs. I just did this this morning as well. Try not to fall while I'm looking away from the screen. <laughs> Need more spikes? I tend to agree with that. You never have enough spikes. Even though they're non-functional, it's just, it's all about the aesthetics. Yeah, Nag, who needs functional when you can just have pretty? I agree. <laughs> That's like the role-playing part of building for me. You gotta like make it look mean and tough, even if it's like not really doing anything. So this is what I have down here. This will be, I mean, if you're familiar with the channel, we're just gonna put the fighting position here. <laughs> and there's only gonna be one and we'll hope for the best, but it's gonna be like a group effort. So we'll have like people that are gonna come over here and you can throw Molotovs and um, grenades, just shoot, whatever you wanna do. I think this is gonna work. I wish that I could maybe, I don't know if I can carve in further. I'd have to, um, do some careful map checking to make sure I'm not digging under towers. I think I did dig under one of the towers, but yeah, whatever. If it collapses, we'll just rebuild it. But yeah, I wish I had a, like a fallback position that we could set up there. Kudos from Brazil. Wow. Where are y'all from anyway? We did this last time, just kind of getting a, an idea of where everyone is from. But let me know if you're from some cool area like Brazil, Romania. Nice. Looks a lot less Lego castle. <laughs> yeah, I guess we don't want to go with the, the Lego theme here for Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Yeah, yeah, Nags from Canada. You guys getting snow up there? I'm getting snow down here. I think I'm going to grab some money and go check the community area real quick and see if there's anything interesting that we can buy there and... I'm starting to kind of like put some stuff away that we could sell in the future. It just hasn't been my focus, quite honestly. So, meh. I have some fuel, don't I? I do. Plenty of fuel. Netherlands. Cool. Texas. I heard Texas is getting quite a uh, cold snap right now, too. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. No. Okay. We're good. We're good. Um... I was watching Wayward Echo's stream last night and he crashed in the same forest and like he crashed his game and everything. <laughs> it's like the, the Bermuda forest. It just sucks in gyrocopters and spits you out. Oh man, someone's been digging on my territory here. All right, so I tried to set up a macro. And it didn't work. Cause I want to do the CW macro so that I can like take my hand off the keyboard when I'm flying. Eh, apparently I have to continue trying on that one. The exotic land of Bedfordshire land lad, Bedfordshire lad. Bedfordshire sounds like British to me. Am I right? Maybe like Scottish. Oh, Nevada, I'm so jealous. The uh, the dry desert heat out there is so nice. Fangorn Forest. Some say the trees can talk to each other, even move. The mod in the left corner. Oh, cool. I could get a chance to test this out. Eh. Nope, it didn't work. <laughs> That's what I get for trying new things. I get utter failure. Yeah, the HUD mod is in the description. It's a UI mod called Riles HUD Plus. And I just wanna swing down here and check out Prebuilt's house here that he built. I really like this um, wall. It's a nice wall. 
Very cool. Uh oh. I'm going to knock out his uh, saguaro decoration here if I'm not careful. Oh, it did work. Nice. Just delayed. Well, what's new? So yeah, what do y'all think of this? It's pretty cool. Functional. It's probably more along the lines of what I should have built. <laughs> I think I bit off a little bit more than I could chew. But we got plenty of time here. We're in no rush here on TNP. Clint says, uh, everybody remember to leave a like on the video. That would help a ton. We're up to 30, but there's like 80 people here. So we've got work to do. Now, where is that community area? It's right here somewhere. The dynamic meshes are not really rendering in right away. Should be right here. Come on. Hello? Am I? Oh, oh, there it is, over there. What is this? Someone like dug down a rock or something. All right, here we are at the community area. Guns and more. This is pre-built. We'll see what he has for sale. I wouldn't mind getting a quality six sniper rifle. Doesn't have one though. Hmm. Justin Old Guy just became a nerd of steel. Welcome. I will have your name up in some of next week's videos. Appreciate you uh, joining up. Nothing here that I really want though. Am I even specced into rifles? I kind of forget where I'm spending my... Oh, I have two points actually. I did go into Deadeye. I thought I... Yeah, I went into Penetrator as well because it kind of helps at Horde Knight. Otherwise, we're just specced into basically Grease Monkey. Robotics Inventor would be nice. What? How am I doing on uh, Better Barter? Oh, oh, not Better Barter. Um, Daring Adventurer. I'm going to take both of those points. That's pretty good for me because uh, we need to do some questing today and see if we can get some better loot. Ooh, a drum bag. I, um, I think I have one of those kicking around somewhere. Oh, he's got so many of them. Damn. Art of Mining Book. I'll take that. I don't even care what it is. He's got like three of them. <laughs> The expanded seating mod, gas recipe, um, rocket launcher, nice. Burst mod, scope, nope, I don't want any of that. Tools. If he's got an auger, I would definitely buy that. Oh, he does, 12k though. Well, it saves me the effort of mining, so I guess I'll take it. And melee weapons, I'm good on that. I've got the stun baton. It's not the greatest, I know, but it's different from what I'm usually doing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just roll with it. And I'm why does oh oh it's red because it he's like asking more for it. Apparently this is like his niche. Like this is what he's producing. I don't even know what I have for mods in mine. How do you drive the gyro on controller? Beats me. I have no idea. The only thing I do on controller is the cinematics that you see in like my Let's Play videos. That's how I get the smooth camera motion because I use a joystick on that. I have a reserve fuel tank and a supercharger. So I, having the fuel saver probably wouldn't be a bad idea, I guess. Fuel... Wait a minute. Supercharger, reserve fuel tank. Am I missing something? Am I just being a noob right now? Fuel saver mod, yeah, that's a thing. He's just not selling them. He's not selling the one thing that I need. Damn it. Crap. Can I make those? I can make that. Oh, four. That's why. Four bottles of acid. That is like 
the most uh, precious resource now in Seven Days to Die. All right, does Nag have a vending machine here somewhere? It doesn't look like it, really. This is kind of half-finished, kind of, looks like. What about in here? This is Echo's Lounge. Echo found one yesterday? The Fuel Saver? I'll have to check with him. It, we'll, we'll see if he's selling it here, because if he is, I'll buy it. <laughs> Nag has a box, yep. <laughs> Keep it simple, right? I have nothing. Maybe we should build something here today. That'll be like our objective. I'll need to get some wood and go and run and get a nail gun. Oh, a sniper book. Oh, high power 762. I'll take that. And bows do more damage at night. Not very helpful, actually. Scopes, shotguns. Um, breaching slugs. No thanks. Tack assault rifle. Good there. I've, I found two quality sixes, like, right in a row. I was playing over the week. I just opened up two boxes and found one in each. Pretty happy with that. It's like two shotgun messiah boxes. Hey, Lainey! How you doing? Good to see you here. Are you, Lainey, are you playing, um, Dying Light 2 yet? I'm thinking about getting into that a little bit. At least like a, you know, first look kind of thing. I think we're good here. Ooh, some robot mods. I, I haven't been using the drone. I honestly, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, I know it's like extra carrying capacity, but if you've got a vehicle nearby, you should be good. Oh, Lainey, <laughs> Lainey's using the new emojis. So I'll tell you the story on that real quick. I had, uh, there was a, a person that volunteered to do some emojis for me, and she made such, like, awesome emojis. She sent me, like, the concept art for it, but she's been moving, and she got really busy, so she hasn't been able to complete it, and so, you know, it's been a few months. I just figured I'd go out into the market and see if I could have someone make some up for me, and so these are the ones that I came up with on Fiverr. Um, I give them, like, a 6 out of 10 if I'm going to rate it, but... You know, it's a good start. We'll get some more emojis eventually, and uh, we'll kind of develop that along the way. But if you remember, you can use these new emojis. They're like little little zombie characters making facial expressions. And honestly, they're so small that you can like barely see what they're doing. So I don't know. Lesson learned. We'll, we'll get it a little bit better on the next run, I think. But I don't think there's anything here that I particularly... I actually need to get some mods for this for sure. What could I put on that? Is there anything that Echo could sell me that I could put on there? I don't want to put the Hunter mod on. That's kind of useless. I should probably go get the Drum mod. Uh, it's just like random clothing. I don't need that. And like just random weapons. I need like a full auto mod, a Drum mag, a hollow sight, and like a laser test out the stun baton if you guys are not using the stun baton it's not bad i've been clearing pois with it and like paired up with the junk turret it's like really really good actually and on horde night you get the nerd tats out and it's just like it's quite a show really oh i'll check uh is there any more there's um what is this pound town okay nothing in there and this is um who made this? Kraken, I think, made that? Okay. So no one else has, like, a legit shop set up, except for Prebuilt and Echo, it seems. Mods, 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 misc. Okay. Take the drum mag. I will... Um... Oh, rad remover schematic. Reflex sight. That helps. I guess we could do something like a barrel extender or the muzzle brake, just for now. I don't see anything wrong with that, really. Oh, is there any more mods I could buy to put on the new auger? That would probably help. What are we looking at here for likes so far? 57 likes, 111 viewers. How y'all doing? Welcome, everyone. Happy Friday. Good to have you here. OK, 
Okay. That gets us part of the way there. I can't wait until you can actually like see the mods, all of the mods on the weapon. That will be the day. Okay, last mod for this. I don't think there's anything we can buy to put on there, except for like maybe a hunter mod. Wouldn't be the worst idea. But I, th I think we're good for now. I have some mods at home and I can just kind of figure that out later. Yeah, yeah, I think we're good. Okay, it is, uh, it's coming nightfall. So who else is on the server right now? Uh, Prebuilt's on the server and More to Me for Life is on the server. I think More to Me for Life, she's um, recording. She does like recorded episodes. I saw her there on, I think last uh, last Friday or so. We won't disturb whatever's going on there unless she wants to meet up. Echo had some uh, tank mods. Okay, let me go check on that. Thank you for looking out there. Who's who's is this? Okay. Where were those? Not in there. Oh, some small tank mods. Yep, that'll help. And weighted head. Does a weighted head go on the stun baton? We're gonna find out here in just a minute. I wish you could put. I wish that. You know, the spike, the chain, and what's the other one? The barbed wire mod. Like, that's the three special mods that are just for one weapon. I wish there were more, like, special mods for other weapons as well. <laughs> I'm not looking at the chat when you have something important to tell me. Oh, check my audio capture. There's no in-game sounds? Maybe they're just turned down so much that you can't hear them. Let me, is this helpful if I turn things up and down a little bit? No, no, I don't think that's helping, is it? Uh, give me just a minute. I'll try to figure this out. Uh, let's see here. The trouble is, is I got a Go XLR like a week ago, and I've had to like just change everything around. And of course, that has messed everything up. Okay, let me let me fire some gunshots. Are you guys hearing that? Not hearing it. No. Interesting. No sound. No sound. Okay. Troubleshooting. Give me a second here. Go into my sound settings. I know I'm notorious for having like weird <laughs> audio issues. It's like the one thing I just cannot straighten out. Okay, so it's recording to system sound. Uh, I just need to make sure that system sound is going through to stream sound. Oh, Licorice, should, she's been playing uh, Dying Light 2. I like that. I'm going to be playing that too probably pretty soon.
Okay, system output. What if I did this? No. Holy crap. This is uh this is bad. This was just working last week. I don't think I changed anything since last week. Let's try if I put it on the music channel. No. This is what deaf people hear when play. Can't argue with that, I guess. That is solid logic in my opinion. Hmm. Try turning it off and on. Yeah, just hit the power switch. <laughs> Funny, I had to do that today. And it did work. Because my, uh, my scenes weren't working. Audio monitoring server. Okay, this says it's it's supposed to be working. Dying Light 2, am I going to stream or make vids? I haven't decided yet. I think I'm going to play it first and see like what editing would feel like versus what streaming would feel like. Because there's a lot of like cutscenes in it. No, I don't think you've lost audio. That is just me troubleshooting. Oh, you know what's going to be the issue here is that I have 
Oh, okay. I have the issue figured out, guys. Hang on. Let me just turn this stuff off. Oh, crap. There we go. Y'all can hear that now? I figured it out. Better. We're getting there. We'll have it figured out in the next minute, I swear. All I need to do now is just put like a, a noise gate on my microphone and we'll probably be, be good. Noise gate at like 40? That seemed like it's gonna be good. Okay, you all can hear that now? <laughs> the glorious sound of freedom. I mean, gunfire. Uh, which gun is better? In my opinion, I would say the TAC Assault Rifle, but only with the right mods on it. Are we good? Give me a thumbs up if we're good here on, on audio now. Y'all can hear me. Y'all can hear the um, gunfire. Can you hear the... The gyrocopter. I'm gonna go ahead and accept this party invite and yes, we got thumbs up. Yes, 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 we're good. The problem was is that I had um, my old filters were on OBS for like noise suppression, so you could like hear little bits and pieces. But if it wasn't something that was constant, it would suppress it out, thinking it was background noise. Because I usually use a noise suppressor on the microphone so that you can't hear like fans or keyboard clacking and stuff like that. All right. Okay. So pre-built is. Um... They're both way over there. Okay, I'm gonna go catch up with them now. Oh, look at the th thumbs up there, nice. I need to get like a zombie emoji thumbs up. That's like I've been pining for um, hand gesture, but they're like zombie hands. Like the thumbs up would be a thumbs up, but there'd be no thumb. It would just be like a bone sticking out. That's the plan. That'd be cool, right? I mean, or you know, the okay sign but um in the you know like the thumb and the index finger are touching but they're holding an eyeball these are the ideas that i had a while back uh, mega asked if this is public or private this is this is well pvp settings are on but we're basically pve this is a private server though Oh, Bobby Meatbox. Reminder for people to support their creators. Definitely appreciate that. MKD100. I don't know what currency that is. Never heard of it before. Someone cue me in. What is that? Where are you from, Bobby? Appreciate that donation. Where, where, where's uh, pre-built here? I see him. I see him. Oh, what is this? I like the look of this for sure. Wow. Is this uh, Liz's base here? Macedonia? Wow, Macedonian dinars. Interesting. Well, I like the looks of this. Um, although I don't quite understand zombie, how the zombie pathing would work. All right, let me jump in the chat here with, um, pre-built. Hey, man. Yeah, I'm on. Can you hear me? <laughs> Oh, geez, am I having Discord audio problems now, too? 
Oh, they're joining the call. I don't hear them, though. Hey. Oh, I need to fix my Discord settings one second. Liz, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you all hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you okay. hear me? I can hear you, Prebuilt. I can hear you. Okay. You might need to fix my audio because I got a new mic. Um, I don't know if I'm like really loud or whatever. No, it sound pretty good. Huh. I guess I'm just going to park here and we can head out. Yeah. Fuel efficiency, carpooling. <laughs> got any headlights? I, mean, I wouldn't drive after, yeah. Um... Where? Are... Oh, yeah, we're going to the Shotgun Messiah, by the way. Liz, if you join the party, I can give you the quest. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'll need to give that to guns as well. Yep. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, I thought someone got out there. I wasn't paying attention. I'm a really unattentive driver. Factory 2, is that Shotgun Messiah? Yep. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yeah, that's exactly what that was. Yep. Strange how the audio cuts out here. And also strange how there's a jar in front of your face. Yeah. I don't know. What are you drinking I'm and driving? <laughs> it's empty, it's so. It's about me jumping out to drink, but it's because the game doesn't let you drive and drink. Please fix. Where's this? This is, um, oh, way south. I have not even been into this city yet. This is where the good stuff is. This is where the other Dishong Tower is. Aha. Uh -huh. Who's the traitor for this? Wrecked. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I don't think uh, I... Wrecked is half the man he used to be. I don't know if anybody's noticed. Yeah, is that all of the wrecks? Because the one in the town we were just in was half the man he used to be. Uh, there's only one wrecked on this entire map. I checked. Really? Because the town they just... Let's... Yeah. Right. Also, if anybody wants to mark the trader that's like right here while we're going past it. Yep, got him. Is this the first time we see Liz? She was here on the first day. I think. <laughs> yes, I was. I, I, I was. I was here. Oh my god. <laughs> How you doing, Liz? You making videos on this or what? You streaming? Uh, I streamed the first day. I made one video, and then it's like third or fourth day actually in this. Nice. I'll be honest with you. That first day was complete and utter chaos. It took me a little while to be okay afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Were you in the Deshong Tower crew? Yes. Nice. It was crazy. Yeah, the suicide there squad. There was so much. Yeah, there was so much death. <laughs> What else we got down here? Anything good? There's a Dishong Tower, a Higashi, a Crackabook. Oh, yeah. I believe there's a Shamway, but nobody cares about that. If only this was a snow town, it would be perfect. It'd be perfect if it was a wasteland. Yeah, we've already cleaned out that wasteland town up north. Stop for no tree. Whoa, almost got ran over. Okay, that tree's pretty, pretty hardcore. Wow, look at my truck, it's so good. <laughs> uh. I just got slapped in the face with it. Yeah. Um. A reminder for everybody, friendly fire is enabled. To so now. Oh, rocking the wooden club, huh? Yeah, did I mention I don't hardly have any ammo? <laughs> uh, speaking of which, well, I probably need to put down a bedroll. A wooden club doesn't need ammo. Probably a, not a bad idea to get a bedroll. It looks tough.
Just in case. Yeah, then put this down over here. Oh, he asked if I was streaming. Oh, yeah, I'm streaming now. I, I don't know if that was part of the question or not, but yeah, I'm streaming right now. Oh, you're off streaming. Okay. Aha, a vending machine. Oh, I have to be careful. I'm using a sledgehammer. I will kill people if I swing with this. I do need some food and water here. Oh, I wonder, can I put... I can put that on. Okay, that's good. And... Just getting my mods sorted out. Has this one changed at all with this new update? Uh, Easily. Not that I've noticed. No. Nope, 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 nope. It's a rat. It's a rat. I can't kill a rat. <laughs> Yeah, I feel... I can hear some zombies breaking in somewhere. Oh, cobble. Uh, I really need this. I wonder how many resources are in here. I don't really remember. I do the... the um, Shamway Factory way more than I do the Shaka Messiah Factory. I don't really know it as well, like the layout and stuff. Ah, try not to shoot you. <laughs> What'd you get for a mic pre-built? Uh, the Shure SM7B. Oh, nice. It's a good one. The arm didn't come with it today, so it's currently sitting on like a tiny arm. Where? I probably should just go do my job. My game stage is 120, personally. Loot stage here is nine. I hope <laughs> two forty two. Oh, Trying really hard to help and not get killed. <laughs> yeah, you want to be careful, you'll get one shotted. Yeah, by that biker there. again. What a surprise. This armor doesn't do anything. Aha! Skill point. <laughs> oh good, a wandering horde. Oh, come on. Give me some acid. Oh, boy. Are you noticing the acid is easier to come by now? Yep, they put it in the end of dungeon loot as well, most of the time. Nice. At least on tier fives. Gotcha. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> if I'm ever running like that, I'm probably pissed Whoa. off. Whoa! Oh, jeez. I'm dragging them with me. This one seems like fun. Ow! Oh! I'm in really bad shape. Wow, <laughs> I almost died there. Oh, my bad. I went and slapped a Marilyn upside the head. She had a whole crew with her. I will be good as new in no time. Oh. 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 
Pixel joint. Ah. Yeah, I think there's a horde outside. For sure. Ah, whoa. Oh, I fell. No, I'm just looking at this. Sounds pretty serious. What's going nice. on up there, guys? Everything okay? Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Oh, we got sleepers, okay. though. Here, on. Oh, uh oh. I am almost out of ammo already. <laughs> what do you need? That's not good. <laughs> I've got a turret ammo. I have some 762 if you need it. I don't know. Does the turret have friendly fire? Yes. It has friendly fire, but it's not like shooting at us, so it's fine. Right. I'm gonna go. Oh no. Yeah, I'm like totally out of ammo. 762. Oh, not too bad. Yeah, that works. Yeah, I'm gonna take my ammo out of this so I can put it into this. Come on, acid. No. Oh, nice. Well, nice. He's not going to be able to sit on that cheek for at least a week. Ow. Woo! Nope. Nope. I need some uh, first aid supplies. <laughs> I need a first aid. No, I mean, I'm good for now, but I need to, like, find some, hopefully. I got a few if you... Oh, wait, let me solve this one. <laughs> ah, nice. Oh, no. Do it. <laughs> Is that all of them? Survived. Oh, yeah, the, the rad. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Is he dead? Yep. Nice. That was good. I love the... Oh yes, first aid. Ah! Ow! Eh, we're good. Ah, yes, first aid. Does anybody get any honey? No. no. I always forget the to vitamins. Them. Oh. Check the loot stage. Uh, for my loot stage, it's 242, given the fact that I am currently level 19. <laughs> yeah, that works. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I have a feeling that was like... Is that leading somewhere? No. The only thing I'm really here for is the cobblestone. I'm just here yeah. 
I'm, I'm here for the levels. Of an urban combat book. I need one. I need. Did one. you get your cigar yet? Um, no. Nope. It's the only one I don't have. Wow. Ain't that some luck? Okay. Yeah, I still haven't found a level six auto shotgun. Yep, that is it for the ammo. Yeah, some guys upstairs playing. Oh, tell me there's some ammo in here. Come on, 7.62. Ah, 9 mil. Oh no, I just dropped that on your head. I am so sorry. <laughs> um, Tim, here is 70.76. I'll make it count. Oh, I'm infected too. Great. Yep. Vultures. Ah. Maybe there is this. No. Oh no. Oh no. Get the. See, this works good here. If you just have the turret and the stun baton, it's not bad. Chats, any nerd chats, do you? Nope, not on me. We missed one somewhere. Where is it? Hmm. A little bit later there. Thirsty. Uh oh. Just eat food. Okay. I fell behind. Where are you guys? Um I got gotcha. you. We didn't get that far. I wish you could drink water out of, like, pools. You didn't have to have, like, a cup. Undercare. Probably a bad idea. There we go. Peppering him through there, you came through and just shot him. <laughs> I was like, dang, God, I could kill one. I think there's some uh, lab workers in here. Yeah. Here, eat that. What the hell, man? Friggin' birds. How oh, okay. clear. Oh, poor man. I was shooting him about the knees and the undercarriage. It's not my fault, but that's the only part I could get. <laughs> Besides, it's the apocalypse. If I don't fight fair, it's understood. Oh my yeah. god, I have got so little... Okay, I'm just gonna drink that. 4% hydration here. 4%? I'm at 57. Get wrecked. Okay, both of you, come here. <laughs> we'll take two of those. Oh, thank you! And guns, when you're done fighting, you take two of those as well. Aha, nice. I was a little bit unprepared for this when we came here. I'd been shopping. Well, that is the premise of the series. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely didn't. Didn't really plan on it. Was planning on it, but didn't really plan on it. It's like half planned, half assed. Done. 
Not oh. oh, an M16 there if anybody wants it. It's only level 1 though. I have an eye candy if you want to use that for the end of dungeon loot. Oh, uh, sure. Going around and mopping up all of these numbers. Hi, Frank. How are you doing? He's dead. Oh, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, straight at the back. Aha, bookshelves. Nothing. Uh, where do we go? Out, oh, out here. Uh, no, the pixel related donation is not on because he has decided to opt out of being killed, which I didn't realize was an option. <laughs> He's no longer accepting deaths. So <laughs> I can't kill him. Is that for real? He's not deaths. He made a formal yeah, like he opt said, out. Please don't kill him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> How many times did you kill him? Being serious, like twice. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I think he's just remembering more deaths than actually happened. Uh, excuse me. Get the hell out of here. May or may not be a lot of white people. Aha, uh -huh, morning. Ah, uh, 2 a.m. morning, though. Yeah, it's kind of awkward. Ugh. Is it this way? Yep. Oh, yes. Dude looks like he's running away from the fight. Cheek! <laughs> you know, fighting zombies always makes you hungry. <laughs> I do have a meat stew if you want one. Oh, thank you, thank you. Is that a screamer? I have a screamer, yeah. Here you go. Well, this is a fun room. Oh. Aha! Nice. Just the utter carnage that I walk into behind you guys. This is <laughs> bodies all over the. All right, we're almost there, right? Just the running. Cut. I just. I'm just here to observe the. Not actually. Happen. Forget how big this place is. I did the circle again. That's terrible. <laughs> uh. Oh, this way. That's better. Down here. Right. Ah, yes. Oh, yeah. Someone in my chat said we're going to run out of ammo before the roof. They already have. I am. <laughs> I there we go. Oh. I have got 386 9 mil for a pipe pistol. And oh, stamina. 17, 7, 6, 2. Oh, I'm stunned. Who stunned me? The zombie. What? I didn't feel like scary. anyone was near me. Move your turret. I don't know how that would work. Bandages? Here we go. 
bullets. That would rubber bullets. Yeah, that was done. Yeah. yeah, I think that zombie might be down there actually. All right, this is the big one here. Oh, here we go. Ah. Get back. Aha. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> nice. She's just basically looked like she got hit by a car. All right, pre-built. Here, I'll give you the eye candy. Funny with my little pea shooter against oh, wait. AK. Yeah. It's Hang on. I got just the thing for this pre built. Let me do it. Oh, God. Why can I hear that all the way down here? Yeah, it's almost done. I want to see the loot, but I have absolutely no interest in taking pretty much any of it. Uh, desert vulture, ammo stuff, bandage. Liz, you may want to come in and steal loot before Tem takes it all. No, I don't want Ooh. half of this stuff. Because you're getting our loot stage, so, you know. <gasps> Ooh, machete. Um, this has got the stun repulsor mod. You're using the... Yeah, I have it. Have you got that already? Oh, wow. Oh, first aid kits. I'll take that. Do you want that beaker? Blade oh, yeah, trap. I could definitely use a beaker. Uh, awesome sauce. Uh, I don't really need that. Wait, is that a... I already read that. Yeah, I'm good. What the... Oh, my God. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. I clenched so hard. I thought that actually fell through the grates. <laughs> I almost threw the machete straight through the hole on the side. Alright. I guess we gotta go hunt down this scraper. Don't have to, but I'm going to. There's also still some zombies alive in the PY. Can oh really? Tutorial, please. Yep, the red dot look. Crap. Well, not on the first floor. Got her. Got the screamer anyway. Oh boy. Red mark. They're still. They're still. Yeah, there's one. I don't know. It's upstairs somewhere. Um, where are you? What? <laughs> I'm trying to like find him on the compass. I think he's on like. The second level? I'm just gonna pull up there and see if I can find him. Where are you, zombie? I think you're you're on the right path. You're higher than I am. Now I'm, I'm further away from him now. What the hell? Is he moving? Well, I'm sure he is. I I'm pretty sure he's running around. Uh, 
Ow, ow. Okay, just, just let me over. Found him. Did you get him? Well, do you want to come see where he was first? What, what level are you on? Uh, the, the ground floor. I'm in that big pool of water. Oh. Yeah, I, f I figured out why you guys couldn't find him. He's pretty well hidden. Ah. Uh, how deep is that water? Probably deep enough. <laughs> to jump into? I don't know how water works in this game, to be honest with you. Banzai! <laughs> Oh, Not that. I, think <laughs> I don't think it works if you land on a person. Anyway, there he is. Uh, oh. man. Uh, I, did. I just threw out my cloth. I need a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. How'd you get in there? He looks very pissed that he's over there, too. Let me out. Let me out. Let oh my god. Oh, water physics. Did that not kill him? No, the fence would have protected him. Oh, hello. <laughs> I was just coming from the secret stash. I didn't even realize that's where he was. Anything good in it? A bandolier mod. Pretty good, but like only week one. And I could choose it. I mean, if you're not. <laughs> sure, I have one. <laughs> Do you <laughs> need an SMG? Uh, and some 9mm? I could use some 9mm. Yeah, an SMG would be nice. This is just junk I'm throwing out, but if you want to take it, I don't care. Nail gun? Auger? You just have these in your pocket. You just... Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Alright. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, there's still Let's zombies. see if I can hoover all this stuff up here. Uh... Oh, snake. Alright. How do we get out of here now? There's still zombies. What? <coughs> I hear him. Zombie. Oh, there's still more. Oh no, I just didn't kill him. Aha, uh -huh, we're done. I'm going with the mouse. I will not drop loot. I will not do it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need? You need a splint, right? So we need duct tape and uh, wood. I've got glue. I just don't have any cloth to make the. I uh, neither do I. I'm sure we can find some though. So you get cloth out of like garbage and stuff sometimes. Uh, lockers. These gotta have something. <laughs> a can. Okay. Then what? No, since dying light is out of. Chance that we could get a stream from us playing Dying Light Mold. I'd be up for that. I don't know. It does sound like fun. I was asking Lainey before. She said she's going to play it, so, you know, that's at least three. Aha. What can I get cloth out of? These boxes? No, it's just paper. Usually looking in the trash is the best place to find it. I just don't see any more trash over here. Yeah, I'm looking. Okay, I'm pretty sure if one of you just came by and picked me up and carried me, yeah, it would be a whole lot faster. <laughs> <laughs> No, I can't or find a you damn just come thing. By and kick me in the rear end. I'm sure. Just kill you so you can spot on your bedroll. <laughs> uh, no, because I have to come back and get my bag. Well, it would suck. probably be faster overall. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. 
Here is some trash. Oh my god, just nails. Bones and nails. Bullet casings. No, no bird. No. Leave me alone. <laughs> <coughs> Ah, oh, no sun plate when I buy it. That's strange. What else is around here that could have cloth? Unfortunately, we're in the industrial district, so... There's a savage country across the road. Oh, I'll go in there real quick. And Anna. It's actually... Well, if there's a savage country, I'm not gonna... Yeah, I'm working on it for you. Yes. Okay, I'm coming. Couch in the lobby. I think that's a leather from the couch. <clears throat> Only there was some solution nearby that you could use to fix your leg, like sitting down in a vehicle. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. I just figured you'd want to appreciate the absolute obscene slow that I am going right now. I am over encumbered and a broken leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm inside. I'm coming. Did you think my truck was inside? No, I, I thought. Liz was inside. Now I'm stuck. Oh, jeez. You're at the front door. Oh, you went that way. Oh, that's 10,000. No thanks. I'm going around. I'd offer to come get you, but... Um... Alright, I do have your split in here if you want it. <laughs> the slowest walk ever. You get it? Got it. Thank you. Now I'm only going half slow. What trader was this for? Uh, wrecked. Um, wrecked. Half wrecked. Did he fall through the floor? He has, he has no knees anymore. Great. Hey, skit leg day. What else we got around here? Silos. Higashi. I still haven't done the new Higashi. I just did it. <laughs> and I took every injury possible, even with the heavy armor. Okay, oh, it was a fucking good shopping cart. <laughs> now you have a sandwich hovering in front of your face. Don't get jealous of my main powers, okay? It looks like you just stuck it in the windshield. I'm saving it for later. Liz, you have a bandage hovering in front of your face. Like a bloody bandage. Really? <laughs> on my screen, I'm just, uh, you know, hands on my knees, hovering off the seat. Perfectly normal. Working on my quads. Probably wasn't the way to come in a 4x4. Yeah, we, there's a road. What's the road? Well, it's flatter than this. Where the fuck did that nitrate come from? Uh, it totally ran out in front of you. I think I'm mistaking like the, the dead bushes for nitrates. I'm like, I can drive through that, and then I just smash into nitrate. 
Ting. Is it just me or all the dead bushes now white instead of brown? They do look very white. Did they forget to have the texture? Um, is it the headlights that's making them shine? Yeah. They still look like they belong in the snow biome. True. Oh, I pretty cool. I swear, I cannot see these <laughs> I don't know if they're popping in or if I'm just really bad eyesight, but like, I can't see them. What is the significance of the JW house? Is that like a Kickstarter or something? Anybody know? I don't know, but it has mushrooms in the basement. Uh, yeah. It's easy to get the main loot, too. And the trader's close. Oh, crap. Well, you could take me over to my gyrocopter. Oh, yeah. Did I have any steroids? No. Unfortunately. Wow, that blade trap bundle had 10 blade traps in it. It's a little silly. Guaranteed to ruin any server's performance. Mm hmm. They're not even that, that great. It's pretty good if you can, like, set up one that you can constantly repair, but. Otherwise, kind of a resource sink. Yeah. I think I need to get a shop set up. Wait, how do we craft a player vending machine? Who was digging a trench? Box that definitely wasn't spawned in. Oh. <laughs> Who's digging a trench? We're at Liz's house. Can you put that together, to, uh, Tim? <laughs> oh, I didn't know this was Liz's place. Not, it's not a trench, it's Zaldich. I put it around all my houses. Oh, so you, uh, your house is the gas station, and but your horde base is over here? Yeah. I see. Well, I do like your horde base. Thank you. Are the zombies going to path... <laughs> to the bottom if you're down there, but they path to the ground level if you're on the ground level? Or how does it work? Um, I, I don't know how it works. I haven't looked at it yet. <laughs> <laughs> it could not work at all. I have no idea. Oh, well, that'll be fun. I'm not sure where we're going. I'm still in the back of the car. I'm back to the quest. Oh, oh okay. The trader will actually be open. Free manure at Liz's house. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Alright, I think I'm gonna head... I'm gonna turn my quest in and I'm gonna get some supplies and start building a house. Liz, have you been to the community area yet and do you have money? Uh... I haven't been there, and is this a holdup? <laughs> no, it's not a holdup. <laughs> uh, I, I do have a little bit of stuff. You could buy things there. And I'm not saying that as one of the two people with a, sh with a store, you know. Oh. Uh, I shared the marker. That's not too far. Cool. Trader Joe's now open. Oh, mini wrecked. Great. Grandpa's moonshine. Alright, who's still infected? This is all I can spare. 
I am. <clears throat> I am working on percent infected. I have. <laughs> How infected are you? <laughs> uh. Yeah, not. That's a. That's not good. <laughs> ah. I don't like you, but maybe I'll change. Don't just. I've got just I'm right. not you doing the Shamway factory. Go away, Rex. Oh, Deshaun, nice. Deshaun. Hmm. Pretty sure my boots are in. Good. All right, I will catch you guys later. Yep. Have a good one. Oh, how's it going, everyone? Going to fly back to the base here, get some building materials, and then we're going to head back to the community area and see if we can come up with some kind of a design to get like a house uh, or like a shop, you know, like a vendor where we can put our extra supplies for selling. You never know, it might help someone out, make a little bit of money. Not that we particularly need it. So if you're just, um, what do we got, 155 people here? So probably a lot of you weren't here when we first left, but this is the base at the moment. Uh-oh. Overshot it a little bit. Hey, oh, this is going to be bad. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, probably what I'm going to do next is get the gyrocopter landing pad kind of situated here. Yeah. Man, it looks pretty nice over on this side with the nice tall wall. Wow, I'm having a hard time on the gyro here today. <laughs> Why am I going down? <laughs> go... Oh, there we go. Go up. I'm only this bad when people are watching. <laughs> it's the whole trying to, like, commentate and fly at the same time thing. It's hard. Here we go. I think that'll do. Perfect. Yes. Nice and compact. Alright, let's get geared up then. Um, kind of inclined to put the... Do I have any more of those actually? I don't. I don't have any more uh, explosives. Which is unfortunate. I really like using those a lot more than I like using lockpicks. But I'll just switch them out for now. And I'll start putting my stuff away. In fact, I'll just put it in the dump chest, I think. Goodbye. And give me the cobble. Gonna need that. Anything else I need here? From wood. Yes, we need to get some wood anyway. Gas. Otherwise, probably good. Do I have any? I think I smelted, like, literally all of my iron. Uh, bring the nail gun. Oh, I don't have any first aid. Uh, da, 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 candy meds. Good. Bring some concrete with me. So we're going to need to fetch some iron and... Should be good on the cobble. We'll need to grab some wood up. I know where we can do that. There's a big forest right out front. Oh! 500 cobblestone cubes. That might make things a little bit faster. Uh, start... Honey, yes, I know. Okay. Uh, start brainstorming, like, what can we use for inspiration to build our little shop? Any ideas? Ooh. I actually need more antibiotics. I'm, like, super low on that. Anything I need here? Would I rather have the suppressor on the TAC assault rifle or this? Hmm. What else can we put on this, actually? Can you put... Oh, structural brace. That would help out on the auger. We're going to need to get some more material. And uh, while we're out looking for wood, we'll have to look for some honey as well. Okay. Okay. Is that all I need? I think we're good. I think we can manage based on what we have now. Damn, huge storm rolled in here. 
Come on. Off we go. I think instead of taking down our forest, we'll go right over to this forest here and just look for honey. Look for stumps. The idea of a nerdy glasses sign. Hmm. I think there's a shape we could do that with, too. Like the half hoop. I don't know what it's called, but... Alright. <laughs> Looking for stumps here. Looking for stumps. Oh, there's one. Aha! One more and we're good. We also need some iron. I think we're gonna just need iron. Well, I don't really need it, I guess, but if we wanted to make like a door in the future and get it upgraded, we would need it. Uh, I forget what the percentage is on stumps to get honey. Y'all remember that? Ah, here we go. Come on. No. Oh, there's one. 20%? Aha! How's that for luck right there? Good. Okay, let's head over to the community area then. Prebit was saying there's a box somewhere that Pixel made for us so that we can get player vending machines because the traders actually don't sell anything so we wouldn't be able to go there and buy one anyway. And we're going to the community area. Oh, I was just looking at that quest over there. That's the uh, the one with like the underground sewer, I think. Pretty sure it is. You know what's kind of annoying is that when the traders give you a quest, like they've changed it so that it only gives you a quest. Like there's a higher likelihood that it's going to be close by, but that means that they never send you for quests like on the other side of the town, really. So you end up just doing the ones close by over and over and over again. Pit stop? Oh, for fuel. I guess I could do the fuel saver trick here, the CW or the C spacebar trick. That'll get us enough gas to get over there. Yeah, this is seven days to die. You always need iron. Yeah, there's always something. Continue with the castle theme and make a tavern. That's not a terrible idea. Just gonna take down all the trees in the area. Get some wood. Looks like a thousand would probably do it. Because we've got the cubes anyway. Guns, nerds, and beer. <laughs> I like that. Guns, nerds, and beer, and then just, like, exclusively sell beer. Alright, I will build right across the street, I guess, from- Why did they carve up the street like this, I wonder? I guess it wasn't level. So, in order to do this properly, we probably want to dig a little bit. Uh, and, like, like, take the top layer off here, maybe? Seems to be what everyone else is doing. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit inconvenient, but it'll only take a minute. Oh, what is going on there? I guess I'll, I'll leave a little space. I'm thinking, like, we'll keep it relatively small here. The knuckle sandwich. Sell all brawling stuff. <laughs> I like that. I think we'll just go back to here and then cut it across. Uh, 
Uh, we want it centered. That was, I think, 13? Yeah, I think that was 13. That'll be good. Yeah, the weather system in seven days is a little weird now. I don't like... Like, they wanted the weather to change more, but I don't think that was such a great idea because... Now, like, the storms, they last a couple minutes and then they're gone and they just come and go, so you'll have multiple storms per day. Living in the snow biome is the worst, because, like, the fog will roll in, whether it's snowing or it'll just be foggy all by itself, or... And I just hate the fog. Versus how it used to be, like, if it was a rainy day, it was going to rain all day. It does feel good though, like how the wind blows and everything moves in the wind. The Thunderdome and sell nothing, just have a fighting pit. <laughs> oh, that's actually a good idea. The problem with having like a fighting pit is that we're all different levels, so... Whoever's the higher level would win, even in a fair fight. Like, we tried that before, uh, like a brawling match, but it was me and Echo and Prebuilt in a free-for-all, and Prebuilt just murdered us all because he was, like, double our level, and he took points into brawling. I should have cheated and you'd used, like, a Grandpa's Moonshine or something like that. Look at us topped off on clay, though. Who said anything about fair? That's true. I mean, it was for money, but... I right, think I made this too big or what? I think I did, but it makes some extra room anyway. Oh, yeah. Host bar brawls? That would be fun. I'm liking the tavern idea. We're gonna we're gonna roll with that. How should a tavern look though? I'm gonna have to get on Google here in a minute and just get some inspiration for like what we could make for like a a storefront, you know, like the the front of it. You know, like old Wild West. They make the front look bigger than the building actually is. There we go. So it looks like... It definitely does not need to be this big. Let's shoot for... One, two, three, four, five. This is gonna be a wall here. So one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, and then this would be the other wall? Or does that seem too small? Could do this and then make that the side wall. That looks better, I like that. Just gonna kind of frame things out and then we'll kind of get the structure built. I don't really care how deep it is, we'll just go like the same as what that one is. Okay, that's good there. We can just use the shapes that we have. I don't need, I got these like super early on. I don't even remember where. Some airdrop, I think. Yeah, I do want inside room for activities. I think I'm just gonna set up like a legit bar, like with pool tables and stuff. Of course, you can't make the pool tables, but like, we all have access to dev mode, so I could just turn that on real quick and spawn myself in some pool tables and some 
uh, some signs and stuff like that will make it just like look really cool. This will be our like our creative outlet here to make something that looks fancy, even if we have to use dev mode to like get access to those things. But I'll, I'll you know, I'll build the structure legit. No problem doing that. All right, there we go. So I'm going to just hop on to Google real quick and see if I can find myself a good like tavern idea. Google images. Oh, wow. Some good stuff on Google here. Mm, yeah, they all have like the same sort of like European appearance. Oh, I like that though. Okay, this might work right here. We're going to go with, I guess, like an old European look. Just like that. Okay. Oh boy. Let's see if I can do this. All right. This is going to be the front door. Just going to like frame it, I guess, first with wood frames. Um, wait, everyone else is doing like a step up like here. So we'll continue that theme. Let's be like that. Let's just clear this out a little bit so it looks better. I want to be able to see it from the ground level. <laughs> we can do like Wild West shootouts here in the streets. Oh no! Liz died. That's tragic. All right, so there's that there. I'm gonna build something that like protrudes a little bit. Whoops, not that. From here, this will be like a nice sitting area up there, but it's gonna look something like, uh, I need some kind of like a rounded shape here. So you know what, I can just commit to this right here. Oh no, I did it. I did the thing. This is the trouble with building with blocks. You kind of have to have an auger, don't you? Okay. I need to get up a little bit higher so I can kind of frame out the storefront here. All right, so from here, it's gonna like jut out a little bit. Oh boy, I have not played enough with these new shapes to really know what I wanna use though. But that is the one. Oh, why does it do that? It's got like a little lip. Here, I want this one, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so far so good.
What channel is Liz? Yeah, more to me for life. Check the description and you'll get a link to her channel. I think anyway, that should be. Yeah, infection should be treated. Mm, okay. Okay, we got like shop windows here now. Probably gonna work on that more later, but just wanna get things like framed out for now. Okay, we'll just get the side walls, get it all kind of framed together. How high are we? There we go, that's good. Um, I would prefer this to be Um, yeah, we'll do the wall, the, the ceiling out of like, no, we can't do that, can we? Yeah, I think this needs to be at least one taller because I want like a nice tall ceiling. Like that. We'll see how that looks in a minute. I mean, it's like basically permanent now, so <laughs> there's no going back. Teto Omran, I follow you from Saudi Arabia. Damn, that is way off. How you doing? Welcome. All right, we're almost there. Aha. That feels a lot better right there. Now we'll just have to put a ceiling in eventually. I wanna just kinda of get this framed out. So this will just be like the, you know, the common area. We'll put some tables in. In fact, like, what do we have for shapes that we can make tables with? Um, or do you have to craft them? Can you craft tables? You can craft an end table. I think we just have to like manually create tables and I'll have to go like fetch some, um, you know, chairs and stuff like that to put in here. We'll just have to collect those for a little while. I think it'll look really nice though. So I think we can just safely do this. We don't want windows that are going like way, way up there. Okay. As for the front, we gotta get that spiced back up again. What was that we were using? It was um, the three meter. Oh, maybe these would be better. Um, yeah, if I could just advance rotate these, I think it'll be good. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, I don't know how the sign's gonna work if I do this shape though, but we'll just try this for a little bit. I'm not gonna commit to it just yet. See, I would like to make like a, like a little like, I don't know, a standing area here where it kind of juts out. Cause I'm looking at this picture and they have like these nice French windows on the second floor here. And it looks really nice. I guess the sign could go kind of like on this plane right here and that would work yeah i think that'll work all 
Oh, did y'all see that video by Kraken where it was like two weeks ago? Yeah, kind of like a balcony up here. Um, Kraken had this sweet video and basically the premise of it is that you get these... I'm just going to demonstrate because I'm going to actually do a base on this at some point. I guess you could use this shape here or you could use this shape here. The cube 5 meter dome middle 6 or cube 5 meter dome bottom 5. We'll just use this one for demonstration purposes. But um, if you advance to rotate this onto the ground like that, and then you rotate it so it's like this. See how that levitates like that? It's, it's just crazy because then you can like build a base basically on top of this and it's levitating. And you could even do this like two or three times and make like a, just a completely levitating base, but it's not really levitating because there's a block there and that block is really hard for zombies to beat on. And it's like a true levitating base without the plates because the zombies can reach the plates. But um, I just watched that video the other day. It's a video by Kraken. He's also in the TNP crew and you can catch his link somewhere in the description and check that out for yourself. But um, uh, was it Kraken? No, no, it wasn't Kraken. I, sorry, I misspoke. It was Primate, I think it was. Primate made that video. Now, I mean, go check for yourself. Go check them out, both of them. But um, I'm pretty sure it was Primate, actually. Because he's not someone that I follow regularly, but it just popped up in my feed, and I was like, God damn, that is a good idea. Okay. What else are we going to do here? I kind of want to just see what this is going to look like on the second floor. Oh, you know what we should do? We should build this a lot like what um, the dead rooster looks like. That's going to be where I draw my inspiration here. I'm going to I'm going to just make like a copy of the dead rooster here. So there'll be like a stairwell in the back that goes up there. We'll put a bar downstairs somewhere and we'll have a balcony all along the top and the fog's rolling in. I would have made it a little bit bigger too if I'd have thought of that just a minute earlier. So I think probably too wide up here all the way around. This might make it a little bit too cramped. I might need to kind of like protrude one of the edges and have like an overhang. No, it's not going to be like this on the side. Just on the three sides. That's not too bad, actually. And we'll have like the bar right here. It would actually be more like this here. Because then we'd have like drinks and stuff back here. Oh no, I suppose it probably would be right here then, wouldn't it? Doesn't need to be too wide. We'll put bar stools here. Um, this is where the, the stairs would go into the basement. Maybe I'll make a basement and we'll have like the cage fighting arena down there. That would be pretty fun, wouldn't it? Aha. Okay, it's all coming together now. And we'll just have like a merch selling area. Well, we need to make a stairwell that goes up here. So I'll just um, quickly throw something together there just for placeholding right now. It's not right. Like that. There we go. Could make it too wide, I guess. Uh, it's a little cramped in here, but not terrible. Maybe I'll make like a spiral staircase right here that goes downstairs. Yeah. Yeah, Jawoodle did do one with the plates. So, like, the, the concept is you can use plates like this. There we go. Like this. But then, like, you can see how my head, like, I get, I get an elevation bump from being on it, and then my head hits it. And the zombies can hit the bottom of it and um, if you've watched his videos i've watched them and they're not as strong as he kind of makes them out to be so 
you know, you wouldn't definitely want to do like a, a three by three pillar or something like that. You'd want to do like, you know, 12 by 12 and just to have like that extra stability. So there's, you know, that's one example. The other example is, whoops, uh, shapes. You can get these, um, what is it? It's a plate cladding. No, those are just plates. Um, yes, sheets. You could do sheets as well. Sheets are a lot thinner, but they have fewer hit points. So like that. And then like that. So that's better, but these have like five hit points. It's like nothing. So I think the new idea is going to be using these weird, what are they called again? These shapes, like, like this. Like that, because then you could just build your base on top of that, or you could just do the whole thing over again. Do that. Oh, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. You could do it though. You could definitely do this. Ah, oh, I almost had it. Oh, just one more. Come on. No, I can't get it. How about like this? I don't know, but you guys get the idea, I think. And then you could just put your regular base, like your cube blocks, like on top of this. So I don't know. Up to you guys to decide if that's something that you think is viable or not. I think it would work. It's a lot of cheese, but <laughs> to each their own, I guess. Uh, are we getting the buffering issue again? Yeah, I think we are. I think we are getting some buffering issues. Let's uh, check the stream health real quick. Uh, again, YouTube is doing this. I even reset my internet this time. I've, I'm streaming in 1080 instead of 1440. I lowered the bit rate, man. I do not know. Echo and I keep having this issue. We're kind of speculating that this is an ISP type of issue. So man, that's a bummer. And it doesn't seem to go away on its own, at least not for a while so this might be it here because i'm not gonna like reboot the stream and all that stuff like we did before so we'll give this a minute and see if it clears up and um we'll see what happens hopefully it just you know sometimes this happens stream quality goes down goes back up again so what we could do is put um, a stairwell kind of opposite to this so like the basement entrance will be right here we'll go underneath this stairwell Whoops, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Something like that. The question is, where am I going to put my vending machine? Probably I'll just put them back here. Because it's not like I'm going to sit here and like serve people. <laughs> the vending machines are going to serve the people. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is um, it's fine. Just a little buffering. Mm, okay. Well, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll continue. YouTube's given me the, like the poor stream help kind of thing. And if I go into, I'm not dropping any frames or anything on my end, so video quality seems to be good. All right, all right, we'll, we'll just continue, we'll proceed. 
Oops, I lost YouTube. Give me a second. There it is. Alright. Ah, someone's here. It's pre-built. Hang on a second. Um, hey, pre-built, where is the um, box? Is it back here? Machines? Yeah. Uh, it should be one of these, yeah. If not, then I can uh, get you some. Oh, are they locked? My bad. I don't know why I'd done that. I just get one? That's it? Oh, here's no, one. You take as many as you want. We just I'll spawn three. them in if you haven't noticed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is spawn? I don't There's... know what you're talking about. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we do some blood sacrifices. And, yeah. Right. Oh, so I need a land claim block, wouldn't I? Or we're not doing that no. here. No, you can just pick it up as well without it. So if you place it wrong, you're good. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Ugh. I wonder if Echo's selling any more concrete. I would really like to buy that. There we go. I'm making a tavern. What are you selling? I don't know, but I'm going to make a, a bar brawling area in the basement, just like the oh, dead rooster. So you're making, you're making a tavern next to a pub. Well, it's like, this is the drinking district. You know where you go pub crawling? You just go from one to the other? Yeah, you've got the La Juicy Beaver, the pub, and then whatever you're going to call. <laughs> uh, I forgot what the name was. Wait, Someone wait, 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 wait. said it was good. What did I hear? And then, the Juicy uh, what? The Juicy La Beaver. Juicy Beaver. <laughs> <laughs> Who made that? Take right. a wild guess. Who made La Juicy Beaver? Oh, Nag. I I'm going to, yeah. yeah. I guess Specifically I Daphne. Yes. Yeah. Um, so you go to the La Juicy Beaver for dinner, and then you go to the Echo Pub for some more classy drinks, and then you come down to Guns and Nerds and Steel's Tavern. For a fight. And you just buy the cheapest drinks you can and fight. And then when you're done, <laughs> you go across the street, you buy some explosives, and then you head down to Pound Pound Town, and then at the end of the night, you go and buy some guns. <laughs> or you can do it in the opposite order. Either works. Yeah. God, sometimes I think there's too many shapes. It's just like they're hard to find. Still getting used to it. There we go. That's a good bar. Symmetrical. Wouldn't be a good bar though without like a some sort of a bumper on the side so you can't knock your drinks off. You need chairs. Is there chair blocks? Like bar stools? No, I'm gonna go find some in the world. Can you pick them up? Well, you can get like the lounge chairs. I think you can actually make bar stools out in either metal furniture or wooden furniture. I think it's an actual thing. I wouldn't be opposed to doing that. Oh, I'll, I'll need to look for like... Metal uh, furniture? Yeah. Yeah. I'll or check maybe on it. wooden furniture. It's one of them. Nails and something. I wonder if anybody... Well, anything from me. I doubt it, because like, nobody's been up here. I bought some stuff for from you. Oh. What did you, oh, did you buy the auger? I did, yes. That was just a huge help. Yay, hmm. more money I can't spend anywhere. Oh, what's this? How much money do you have now? Um, so you know the wooden storage crates? Yep. Half of one of those. Wow. I think it comes out to just about half a million. We'll have to uh, find some way to celebrate. 
accelerate half a million nukes. <laughs> Just burn them all. <laughs> well, that's what smelting is, right? Yeah. Bullets. Although, I have an entire storage crate of 762 now. Wow. Yeah. Are you crafting it or just finding it? I'm crafting AP, but I'm just finding regular 762. Because I can bulk craft AP now. Aha. Uh -huh. helpful. I'm gonna go do more quests. What do you got? Uh. <laughs> yeah, we gotta figure something out out here. Yeah, is uh. Quality seemingly is he even still on. Are you guys still here? You guys are still here. We're still good. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I like my stream stopped, and there was like a huge tank and viewers. Uh, are we okay? You guys just need to reload? Come back in? Okay on your end? Jen says yes. River says yes. Mikey says yes. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Like, viewership went to zero for a minute. It said one viewer, which is probably me. And then, uh, yeah, something happened. So we're back to, like, excellent connections, so I guess we'll just continue then. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm done with the bar. I think we're good there. Maybe we'll get like a table over. Well, no, we'll do like a pool table here, of course. And the pool tables, I think, are like six by two. So we'll just put like a placeholder in to uh, like identify where that's going to be. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. Okay. And over here, I think I'm going to do the spiral staircase over there. And then over here, I'm thinking like the metal stairs because they're a little bit lower profile, these ones. Or we could just get like the legit stairs with like the railings and stuff like this. Yeah, that's going to look better in the long run. And then, I mean, do we need a railing on the right? Not that one. Uh, Th this one. Wait. Stairs, hollow, railing, metal, right. Hollow, railing, metal, right, two? Well, what's the difference? Which one did I pick before? Left, right. Right, two. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I need the end pieces to... Wow. This is just incredibly, like, I guess not complicated. It's just like there's so many options. It's hard, kind of hard to, like, get your head around them sometimes. And railing right. Let's bring these all the way down. Ooh. Oh, there we go. I think that'll do. And then we need some kind of a... Oh, how do you... How are you supposed to get the things to flush up on the back? Do you have to use like a special shape to do that? What do we have here? We need like um, like a quarter height this. Ramp incline filler? Yeah, see I'm getting the hang of this. And then that one's just, uh, that's just going to be how it is, I guess. Okay. Fair enough. The dartboard. Yeah, I got I to find some of those things. 
Yeah, so stream suddenly ended. I don't know what happened. Couldn't tell ya. Just YouTube being YouTube, I guess. So up here, we're gonna have like a balcony and going all the way across so we can get some railing pieces in. Railings. Been using the railings. Uh, so the next episode of Frostbite will be tomorrow, Saturday. And we're going to be experimenting some with these railing pieces in order to, like, use use them to shore up the fighting position. So, we need... Oh, I wonder if there's a stair piece that, like, has the railing at the top? Because there's... There's the left end and the right end, but that's just the bottom. I don't think there is one that is the end piece for the top. We'll just need to use a regular railing up here then. Like these. Except not that one. We want the left one, I think. Yeah. Mm. Less than ideal. What if I just did the single? We'll just experiment with this for a second. There's another really cool shape that I like, and it's in the stairs, and it's this, not that one, this one, spiral stair pillar, put that in, that kind of like shores it up, makes it look nice, okay, and we'll put another one of those here, and there. There we go. That'll look good. And then for the back wall, I think it'll just be like, just like a flush wall here. I'll leave some openings for windows. Yep, yep, liking this already. Not gonna be a lot of room up here for sitting. I suppose that's okay, because what we'll do is we'll just make like, like a, like a chair and then like a table and then like another chair here kind of thing. Does that make sense? And then so it'll just be like, you know, two person seating upstairs. And then maybe I'll make like uh, some balcony pieces so that you can kind of like sit uh, a few more people, seat a few more people. But otherwise I think that's pretty much uh, the general idea here for the upstairs. The more I think about it, the more I think I do want to protrude the whole top floor, like one more block. Yeah. Maybe even two. Yeah, like what um, Echo Pub's doing up here, how he kind of protrudes. Oh, he's got the freaking tables up there. What the hell? Well, we have to make, we have to compete. We have to make better tables than his. Oh, he used the trellis on the top. I like that. What is this? Oh, it's just where he has a sign. Yeah, we're gonna have to come up with a good sign. What shape is this? Okay, that's like it's just its own shape. No chairs though. I mean, standing room only. That's the advantage we'll have. We'll have chairs and Echo won't. <laughs> Lord Oscatat says, hello again. How am I doing? I'm doing great. How are you today? Good to see you back. I, I recognize the name from the last stream. Okay, you know, I don't like sitting too close to people when I'm at the restaurant, so... Like that. Seat. Seat. Oh, there's no way we can do it really symmetrically, I don't think. Unless we do one there. And then it would be like, chair, chair, space, space, chair, table, chair. And then someone's going to be over here in, like, the high traffic area. Yeah, so, hmm. Yeah, the uh, the layout of the second floor reminds me of the, it's the, the dead rooster, right? 
That's like my favorite POI. That's why I did the the one night stand there. Gonna have a pool table down there. We might be able to orient that differently so that we could have two. Or we need like a dart throwing area too, of course. <laughs> and then like off stream, maybe like later on this week, I'll create like a, a cage fighting arena downstairs where we can just like get naked and fight to the death, brawling. It's the only way. You can't fight to the death with your clothes on. Oh, Sniper said, forgot to say good evening. Yep, all is well in my neck of the woods. It's currently a huge snowstorm. Again, we just had one last Friday, and now we have another probably foot or two of snow out there. So it's just going to be another long day of shoveling tomorrow. That's okay, though. I don't mind the exercise a little bit. I'm just going to extend this out just one. I think that'll give it a pretty clean looking aesthetic. And then I suppose what we could do is like another railing, kind of like what Echo's doing. Right? Well, I'm gonna sprain a leg doing this, aren't I? But eventually it's going to have to come back to like regular wall just for like, you know, whoops. Oh, not there though. Like that. Oh, and then I could put the sign kind of like on this. Oh, you know what though? I do want... I want the sign to be backlit, like what Echo did. I'm jealous of that. I'll figure that out. I need to play around and, and see how that's going to work. But yeah, eventually I want to have like a nice light up kind of style of lighting the sign. <laughs> if that sentence made any sense at all. Okay, so structural stability is going to be coming off of that pillar right there. We'll make sure we put one down right there. And uh, as for the top, I'm thinking the same thing, like a four high. Or should I do three high? Let's see what this looks like. Whoa, I'm telling you, I'm going to sprain my ankle here soon. <laughs> I do have some skill points. I probably should think about what I want to do with those now that we have Daring Adventurer done. It would be probably good for like questing to go into charismatic nature a little bit more. Ah, it would definitely be good to go into Electrocutioner more so I can benefit from my stun baton. Yeah, let's let's do that. We'll do Electrocutioner and Robotics Inventor. So we're a little bit, you know, better at offense when we're clearing POIs and stuff like that. I feel like I can't play this game without points into agility. It's like very, very difficult for me to not have agility points or to not have an agility build. It's basically all I do now. Like before I did YouTube, I was always like a strength player, shotguns and clubs and stuff like that. And I still like all that, but man, I can't live without my light armor points for the extra mobility and all that stuff. Just makes your life so much easier. So should I be kind of closing this a corner off like that? Oh, that looks so good. I think it would be a good, like, little cubby, you know, to, like, have a little table in. Like 
like so. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm liking this. Maybe the sign goes up here, but that seems a little bit too tall. You need to have the sign more like on the ground level. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be very open concept. I do like that. I think now basically all we need to do is get some material to sell in these. No, oh, where's my chainsaw? And um, yeah, kind of call this quits. I I need some time to kind of like refresh my um, inspiration for how we can do this. Like maybe I don't want to use these blocks here. Maybe I want to use something like, um, let's see, cube blocks, the beveled cube corner. Yeah, like that. But it takes me time. It's hard for me to do stuff like that when I'm on stream because, I don't know, is it like entertaining to watch me <laughs> troubleshoot my building shapes and stuff like that? I don't know. I've never watched anyone really build on stream before, I guess. Usually people are just clearing POIs and stuff like that. Questing, horde night, horde every night, you know, whatever. Oh, look at that. That's gonna flush up so nicely. That is the way right there. Now I just gotta find the corner bevel. Is that the one? That was easy. I think that is the one. It is, okay. Yep, that works. That looks a little bit better. I don't like those harsh edges, you know, like the, the 90 degree angles. Don't like that. No me gusta. In terms of tables up here, though, what can we do? We want to do not upside down tables. Although, I wonder if you could do that. And is there a disc? Oh, there is. I'm just gonna get it on top. Oh, oh, come on, right there. Does that seem like a better table design? It's a little bit thicker. It's got a, a base, you know, so it's not, does it just look like it's like speared into the floor? Glass blocks with a light source behind it? Mm, could do that, actually. I'm trying to think of, um, how Dragon Angel and Zombies and Caffeine and like some of the regulars on the community server did their sign because they did the backlit sign too. I can't remember. Oh, Trey has a question, general question. Boiled Water says it has 15% stamina regeneration, but it doesn't have a duration. How long does regeneration last for? I actually don't know the answer to that question. I think it's two minutes. I'd have to drink it because if you if you drink it and then you go to your character status effects, I think it'll tell you over there like how long that's going to last for. I don't know. We got to like um are there any other like table shapes that we could play around with here? Uh furniture. Wait. Is it furniture? Deco. It's probably in the deco, right? Where is this? Table, pole. Okay, we've got dynamic tables here. Coffee tables. Sink holes. Yeah, that's right. We'll have to make a sink downstairs. Mm. Oh, these like baluster railings. These are cool. Unfortunately, they're centered though, and there's no other way. Well, I am thinking like solid roof here, but I'm also thinking like skylight because I, I don't want the patrons over at Echoes to like want the skylight and then they come over here and they're like, oh, this place doesn't have a skylight. So low class <laughs> or whatever. But honestly, if I did have a skylight, I would want it here. Hmm. Crap. Now I kind of want it here. Oh, 
Oh, crap. No, I think this is okay. We'll just collapse this. Oh, hey, dragon. How you doing? We put the lights behind the letters of the sign, yeah. I, I, I recall investigating how you did that, because it was really cool. Whoops. <laughs> Not that one. This one. Goodbye. Okay. So maybe that's not even the best shape to have there. I really... I don't know yet. So... I want this to be nice and open. Can't you make cloth blocks? I wonder if the cloth shapes differ at all. Like, like can I make the awning? Awning ridge, awning tip. What are the awning blocks? You know, like a cloth kind of, is it like these? Sh uh, ramp sheet caps? That just looks super weird and too thin. It's a mystery. Oh no, it's like, oh, it's these, isn't it? Oh, but those are solid, though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'd like that. Coffee table, a couple of couches. Oh, that's a good idea. Put some couches downstairs. Plenty of room for it, really. Right now, I'm trying to piece together how I would, whoops, how I want the front ceiling area to look. Copy rotation, okay, there we go. And uh, center it right there and right there. Give me that. I think this looks better than, whoops, no. Come on, come on, come on, get on there. Get on there centered. It's not working. I think we're having streaming issues again. I apologize for that. There we go. You guys uh, still getting video here? I'm getting some like streaming errors and stuff. Too bad there isn't a nice looking garage door. I actually like the new garage doors. So what I'm thinking is, as I'm starving to death, which slurp down that meat stew real quick. You back, it's all good. We had another like, Something happened, I guess. I don't know. Like I have a, I have the stream open on my end as well, but it's um, not working. <laughs> so, what if I press that button? Oh, okay, it's back on. Technical difficulties. What's new? We should be used to this by now. Okay, we want skylight, but not like this. Th these blocks are kind of. Um, see, what, what I want to do, really, I didn't want to have to do this. I'm going to have to just knock this out. Um, no, 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 I don't. I want to just do this. And then I want to knock this out. Oh yeah, we're back to excellent connection. Just a hiccup. Probably something to do with the fact that I continue streaming during massive northeastern snowstorms. And, uh, like, everyone in, like, uh, 
700 mile radius is probably at home right now using the internet. That could be an issue, I would imagine. Okay, we're gonna have a nice little balcony here. Better than Echoes, that's the only thing that I'm going for here. Yeah, maybe? Hmm. Um, if I put a window in here, I think it'll look okay. And here. Oh, yes. I know what to do here. It'll look good. Maybe not this shape, but some kind of like an angled block like this. Yeah, I don't know now. I feel like it would look better if this just went up flush. Hmm. Nope, 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 I don't like this. U Ufefel? Is that how you say your name? Ufefel, what are you building? I am building uh, some sort of a tavern, I guess. It seems to be the theme here at the community area, where everyone's making, like, um, a selling shop. So I'm trying to make something where I can have my player vending machines and sell stuff and also just have fun activities when we have like community nights here. So now I think this will look better. Mm, that one needs to come out. Okay. No, I do want that one there. And then I want that one there. And then I want this. Come on, don't fall. There we go. That's better. Yes, yes, that looks good. I just need to rip this whole sheet, this whole, like, column out right here. Ah, gotcha. Oofy? Is that how you... Oofa? Oof? Not sure how to say that. I'm gonna go with Oofa. Yeah, that might have some impact. I agree with you, Mikey. <laughs> Maybe next Friday there won't be a blizzard. Although next Friday I'll have to be broadcasting my face cam as well. I'm not sure how that's going to work. I mean, my... Second, Ufa. Okay. Isn't that like the guy from Vikings? Not like not like the early seasons, the later seasons. Ufa? Wasn't he a, one of the Vikings? Sons of Ragnar? We need a good open world survival crafting Viking game, in my opinion. It's like an underutilized era. I'm glad that they made that Assassin's Creed. I never did play it, though. I got so tired of Assassin's Creed, having played it since Assassin's Creed, like the very first one. It was just like the same thing over and over again. Got old after a while, so I stopped playing at Black Flag, which was probably the best one, too, so. <laughs> Valheim? <laughs> uh, yeah, probably that's the one I'm thinking of there. <laughs> I bought it. I've never played it, though. I need to get into it. I just don't have enough time. <laughs> okay, everyone's on the Valheim bandwagon. Yeah, 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 I missed that. My bad.
the trouble with Valheim partially for me is that it's a third person game and I really really prefer first person games oh what am I doing here we're good we don't need to take all this stuff out do we nah 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 we're good There we go. Yes, yes, I'm liking how this looks now. I think we can shore up the, the um, ceiling. Although we gotta make sure that we have structural stability here. I think I'll, I'll put these in. That's a little bit of extra stability. I'll put one in over here. Yeah, I don't know. This is gonna just be like open concept, I guess, because there's no shape I can put in here. I don't think that that will um, have that angled look, but also kind of have a window barrier. Is there? If I go into windows, there are these. I don't think that's, it's not a window though. It's like different, you know? It's not what we're looking for, I don't think. Like this. This is kind of like what I want, except the back would actually be transparent. Of course, I could paint it to look like a window, but it wouldn't be a window. Oh, I used the cobblestone. Damn it. Oh, I'm done with that. Just work on the, the roof here. These uh, 500 shapes here came in real handy. Can you imagine like doing this out of steel cubes though? And then like every mistake you make, whoop, there's just 10,000 points I got to auger through real quick. Hang on. I would love to see GNS, Vedui, and Jonah Birch all build castles and swap castles for Horde Knight. Imagine the commentary. Builders critiquing builders. Yeah, I learned a lot from Vedui early on. He was actually... I don't know if he was invited to be a part of this or not. I want to say he was, but I could be wrong. Yeah, not everyone who received an invitation to this uh, accepted. That's what I'll say. Some people just don't want to be part of the community, I guess. So what we, well, we could do something up here, I guess. How about a swimming pool? <laughs> Bring some water up here, make like a hot tub. You know, that's actually not a half bad idea. We'll just build vertical. We'll make like a... I'll get some garden plots, okay? We'll we'll plant some um some some like cactuses and some agaves and some like just exotic plants up here and we'll build a hot tub. We'll just put a railing all around the side. Probably could do that. And I'm running low on shapes. I should have some wood though. I literally made like a thousand shapes this morning and I've already burned through them all. Just give me like another hundred. Yeah. Uh, you have the stained glass tiles that I could always use. I could do that. Are there. Like you can make the the glass, I know what you're talking about because that's like a paint texture. Kind of, you know, what I would want, want is for this to just be glass right there, but it's meant to like a butt up next to glass. It's actually not, it's meant to a butt up next to another one of these. So what it's supposed to look like is Um, this, 
and then your your glass shapes would be right here and that would just be how the glass kind of connects to the other shapes but that's no fun you know you want the glass to go right up to the shape that's unfortunate nothing we can do about it though yeah so just real quickly i'm gonna put like a Real quick catwalk railing out here. Should we do the catwalk railing or could always do like the wooden, but I think that the metal one just looks better. Oh, there's also the bars. There's bars and then there's railings. These are nice. Whoop, she's gone. <laughs> Liz is out of here. Yeah, I think I'll go with these because then we can paint them like a nice wood color to contrast like all of the stone and stuff. Give me that back. Is pre-built streaming right now? I wasn't sure if he was streaming or not. Let's see, pre-built is five hours ahead of me, so that makes it nine o'clock for him. reasonable oh we also need to figure out like a way to get up here we'll figure that out some other day yeah i'm thinking like hot tub in the middle what's a good hot tub looking block though so usually you have stairs that lead up to the hot tub it only needs to be like one block deep as well What's the middle here? This is the middle. Something like that. That's a little big. Cause I'm gonna wanna put like tables and chairs up here too. You can't just have a hot tub and that's it. That would be kind of awkward. Yeah, like that. That's going to be nice. And then we've got the nice, like, um, the filler stairs for the corners. Nice. Okay, we'll just have to get a bucket and some water later. Fill that up. And I think I am good to go. It's going to be dark here soon. So let's uh, book it back to the base. So this is going to be pretty good. I need to figure out if I can get like a refrigerator maybe and put it down here or, you know, something to make it look more kitcheny, like a sink. Probably sinks would be the best. Oh yeah, we need to definitely shore this up. These are going to be structural support pillars here on the cor corners. Okay, that's better. Yeah, as for the sign, how are we going to do that? Hmm. Now oh, I can see now that this needs to be like, it needs to have something to take out this uh, harsh edge. Like that, not enough, I don't like that. Where's that nice, like, inside rounded... Yeah, that one. Like that. That's, uh, that's not terrible. I'm gonna just put it in for placeholder for now. Okay, and somehow... I've gotta build a sign out of all this. That's gonna be the hard part. I could just build like a separate structure that kind of like, oh no, no, that wouldn't work with it. I don't know. Yeah, how do we get up there? That's a good point. Uh, we're gonna have to make like, like a spiral staircase. Maybe here, 
Let's try that. I think that would work, right? And then we just, um, what do we need to do? We need to dig out like the four blocks in the corner here. I love this tier 6 auger. I should have gotten that ages ago. I wish I would have. Oh, that's, um... It's like, less than ideal, actually. What if I did this? No, 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 no. That's not gonna work. That? Yeah, these things are difficult to work with sometimes. I think the idea is that it's going to start like that. Up, 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 and over. Yes. That'll work. But we need to cover this up just with like a plate. I think the plate block is how I do this usually on the top. Plate. Advanced rotation. Something like that. And then just like a safety railing to go around. Let's just... Uh, Give me this. Copy shape. Um, I don't know. What shape do I need? I just need this one, I think. You. This is not coming out too great, is it? <laughs> it's just getting worse. I don't know. I'll play around with that later, I think. Yeah, that's how we'll get up here, though. Spiral staircase. Down and around. Perfect. Just shore this up. We don't need a window here for anything. Good. Alright, uh, let's head back to the base. I think I'm done with this. It's been a fun project, but uh, I can only take so much of it at a time before I get a little bit antsy to do something else. Where's the gyrocopter, anyway? Oh, it's over there. Oh, 5% gas. That would be an issue, wouldn't it? Uh, hello? Come on. Here we go. Oh, come on. I actually do need some iron, but that'd be a bad place to mine, honestly. Hmm. But making it snake back, the spiral staircase snake it back and forth as it goes up? I never thought about that. Takes more room, but looks wicked in an open room. Ah, I'll have to try that. Yeah, this, the, the spiral staircases are terrible to walk up, but... You know, it is what it is. Oh, let's just head over here and get these uh, supplies from this quest while we're kind of moving through the neighborhood. Some rounded bars to match the stairs. Yeah, yeah, I'll keep that in mind. I'll head over there sometime this week and kind of figure that out. Plate with letters. Yeah, the trouble is I need to... The trouble with the letters for the sign is that I need an open block space behind the letters to put lights. Ideally, you would have, like, letters, and then behind the letters, an arrow slit, and then behind the arrow slit, um, the, the light source. So that's, like, a total of three block width to create, like, a well-illuminated sign. Which we didn't, we didn't really give ourselves that much room. I am like totally dehydrated. Hopefully we can find something good to drink in here. I think there's a kitchen. A wheel! 
Wow, that's like a free acid right there. Or is it like you know, two acid, however much they cost? I tend to like this POI. It's a pretty good place. There's a lot of POIs in Seven Days that are like, that have secret areas. I like that. You know, they're not just boring old houses. I mean, you got plenty of those. What do I do here? Just jump down? Yeah. Oh, hello. Hopefully I can find that cigar so I can hold it over Prebuilt's head. It's like the only reason I want it. Just bragging rights. Isn't, uh, isn't there... Ooh, Recog. Ah, the awesome sauce recipe. I actually just found that earlier, or that was in the, the main loot chest at the Shaka Messiah. Isn't one of these a safe, though? Eh, guess not. Yeah, see that turret? It works good. This is a good combination. Now that I've been doing it for a few minutes, a couple weeks, I should say, I'm getting the hang of it. A light source below the sign. Yeah, that would work. It would kind of be in like the street. Oh, nice coffee. Not the best source of water, but it'll do. Yeah, I think otherwise I don't need to search all this crap here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. hobos do. Nice. I think that's like it for the house there. Aha, here's the safe here. I thought there was one somewhere. I guess I don't even need the lockpicks, do I? Or I got this freaking quality six. Auger here. Aha! That's something we can put in the little uh, shop over there. Not bad. I'm just gonna put like quality six stuff in there. And like little knickknacks that I think have some value. Certain schematics. Just trying to help people out, you know. Give them a chance to buy some things that otherwise might be hard to find. Not in it for the money. Well, that was fast. <laughs> nice. I don't even think I need that, um... The axe anymore, since I'm carrying the chainsaw with me everywhere I go. Uh, some schematics, yeah, maybe sell those, I don't know. Oh, see, here's the spot. I get this reloaded. Oh, hey! Just a loot bag sitting over there. I wonder if that's from the time I cleared this, like, earlier this week, though. Can I put this down here somewhere? Or should I just put it down there? Probably just down there is fine. All right, well, let's go. Nice. And the rest are stuck. A couple of Arlene's. What do we got here? Oh, Nightfall too, whoops. Kinda <laughs> forgot all about that part. Who's up there? Why can't I hit you? Did I get him? I don't think he's dead. Whoa! 
That was creepy. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is just this is just as fast as picking it, really, isn't it? This is not a public server. This is a private creator-only server, which is run by Pixel Life Gaming. I think I might be benefiting from... Oh, nice. Some good gloves there. Oh, nice. Time charges. Good deal. Yeah, I might be benefiting from pre built loot stage still. No, I don't think I am. I think that's uh, probably my base loot stage. Yes, yeah, I think it is. Oh my god, another one? Wow. Guess I don't even need pre-built loot stage. Uh, timer relays, another one. We'll just read that one. Nice. Are we good here? Yep, mission's over. Just burn through this real quick. And it's a clear shot out of here. Although I used to think that there was um, like a hidden stash down here somewhere. Am I wrong? Is there not a hidden stash or anything down here? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I feel like I've done this before. I just don't remember if I got anything for my efforts. Anything hiding up there? No. Anything over here? I don't think so. No. Is it maybe up here though? How would you even get up there typically? Whoa. Uh, hazmat jacket, don't need that. I'll take the rest, though. Good amount of ammo there. Is there anything? Aha! Yes, there is! What? Serrated blade mod, man. Cheap. Uh, what's in here? Nothing. Nothing at all. I have to be careful getting out of here because there are zombies topside. Yee! Ah, hello. We're raiding again in the desert for like the third time today. Loot bags, even discarded items, are sometimes not despawning with the latest update. I think what you're probably witnessing uh, is when you leave a chunk and there's something on the ground, like, it's not gonna despawn if you're not on that chunk anymore. So if I, like, if I landed right over here and I drop something and then I fly home for, like, a week and then I fly back there, it's gonna reload in that item, or the loot bag, or even like a carcass, like an animal carcass, because you weren't there for that, that, like, timer to tick down on that item. Yeah, that's in my opinion. I haven't done testing on that, so I couldn't say for sure. Oh, thank you, Mikey. I was uh, thinking about clicking that link, you know, yum.today. That sounds like a fun place to go. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can do a more graceful landing this time. I doubt it. Better. Not as bad as before. Perhaps that's what we should do now. We've got the shapes, we've got the wood. We'll make like a hundred more. 
or 47, I guess. Yes, uh, I want to do something wide, nice and wide. And then like, I don't know about you guys, but I always like to paint my landing strip so that it looks kind of fancy, put some lights on it, you know? Look good, feel good, feel good, fly good, maybe? Oh, now it's in the way. Um, are you sure I can't put a block there? It's it's pretty sure, yeah. He <laughs> making it worse. No, no, no. Come on, yeah, just a little bit, a little bit more. There we go. Okay. All right. The question is now, where am I gonna get support for this whole thing? Because I don't want to support it off of sand. <laughs> that would be a bad idea. Um, I don't know. Let's just do a lot of blocks. Just fill in all these little gaps here. Let's see, are these... Oh no, those are not upgraded. Did I even bring a nail gun with me? No. Great. Well, let's just put all our stuff away while we're at it. I put the nail gun in here. So, on second thought, let's uh, <laughs> let's not put our stuff away just yet. I don't have any wood. Ah, crap. What? What is going on here? What is this? Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah! The Bermuda Forest is gonna eat me. Oh. Oh. How do I upgrade the blocks inside? What blocks? The ones that are going to be covered up? Because if that's because I don't upgrade them, I just leave them in there. Make a tutorial on disappearing loot bags. So I'll tell you one thing. One consideration when it comes to making a tutorial video is... Is it searchable content? Because if I make something, I'll give you an example based off of my work. The last video I made, the last minute tip, which was how to, the fastest way to ride a bicycle. It actually was how to ride a bicycle. That was the first title. And then after I realized that the video was bombing, I changed it to the fastest way to ride a bicycle. That's not searchable content. No one is going to Google to type in how to ride a bicycle or how to ride a bicycle faster. And so that that type of a video is is less discoverable than something like how to find acid because there's a lot of people typing in how to find acid, where to find acid, stuff like that. So you know, I appreciate all the tips. I do have a long long list of like I go back through the minute tip videos and I write down all the suggestions and um, I've made videos specifically based off of suggestions, but for the future um, I'm probably going to focus more on, like, searchable content. It's just kind of, you know, you're playing the YouTube game to some extent. Because you might put the best tip there is in a video, but no one's going to find it. Because it's just not... It's not something people are looking for. Alright. That's better. Wow, we are really, really gummed up. We do need to go drop our stuff off, don't we? Where's the gyrocopter? Over here. Whoa, <laughs> boy. Coming to get me. Where was the gyrocopter? Oh, there it is. What is with my right wheel, like, spinning me around? All 
All right, well, let's see if like what we've done so far makes it easier to land out here. This will give us like a good idea of how much bigger this needs to be. Wow, that's like not bad at all. That's really good, actually. So I think I just wanted to upgrade, whoops, this piece right here basically to cobble because, oh, that's broken. Here, fix it. Ah, no, no, no. Okay, we're good. We can do this. Oh, crap. <laughs> Clicking too fast. There we go. Whoops. Uh, this is the block here, the, the foundation of the keep that is going to lend a lot of support, I think. Actually, no, it, it would over here because this part is like free hanging. Yeah, scratch that. This is actually not the most important block to upgrade. And, or, or is it? Because there's the tunnel that goes underneath. Oh, that's hard to say actually. Although, presumably, if I just consistently upgrade these and do something like this, as long as I'm making sure that the inner blocks that are closest to the keep are upgraded first, I think it'll have plenty of structural stability. And then once the platform is done, we can just kind of run down and uh, build some kind of a support column for it later on. How do infections work? Yeah, yeah. The... I think the countdown timer on an infection, like, from, for you to get from 0 to 100%, takes 7 days, hence, like, 7 days to die, like, uh, Dipod said. But every time you get hit by a zombie, while you're infected, you'll take more infection. So presumably it's going to take a lot less than seven days if you're like actually doing things. So I'm going to protrude this just a little, little bit further. Like, oh... Actually, I feel like I should start tapering it, maybe? I don't know if I want to do that or not, because I, if I make like a, you know, like a, not a 90 degree angle, but like, you know, rounded it out a little bit, it would kind of be protruding off of this side here as well. <gasps> what if we made it in there? What? That would be so cool if it was like underground. What? I gotta think about this now. Let me get in the gyro and like see how that would feel. That You gotta admit though, that would be pretty freaking cool if we just flew the gyrocopter into the mountain. Oh, it's too bad I can't see very well because it's nighttime. Okay. I feel like that would be hard. It, that would be a hard landing. Or a difficult landing. Build a gateway there and run a column up. So from this direction, you're talking about trying to land... Oh, it's just... it's. It's such a skinny area. I might hollow that out anyway and sort of see if I can make like a some kind of a parking solution in there. Oh, it's just too narrow. It's just too narrow of an opening. At least like that. What was that? Did you see all those like sparks coming out? Is that just, just me? My imagination?
Yeah, so you'd be coming in. Yeah, it's just it's just easier if you can like jump off from an from an elevation. Takeoffs would definitely be awesome. I do really wish that you could have like elevators or some kind of like a piston shape. Now I can't even land it normally. Okay, I'll just get some space. Oh, actually, well, you know, let me just drop my stuff off and I want to go see if I can find Echo's base. Because I know he's building something pretty cool too. Okay, just in for a normal landing here. Perfect. Just put everything in there. How are we looking here? We got some stuff we can sell. Do I want to wear those military gloves? I think I do need a better pair. Yeah, yeah, okay. Then we'll just sell those ones. And I should have some mods, cooling mesh mod. I actually don't think I need that. I think I have enough of those already. But whatever. In terms of these uh, shapes that I have, just we'll get rid of these once and for all. There we go. And I need some first aid. Well, we'll grab the rest of this stuff here real quick. There's my first aid anyway. Oh, I want the gas on me, actually. Yep, there we go. Yeah, so Echo has built over on that mountaintop area, I think. I was watching his stream last night, and it looked like he was in that area. So let's hop over there real quick and see if we can find out. He's making like an underground layer, just kind of like I initially was going to make. I kind of still am, make like an underground horde base. But then I wanted like something that would be good for screenshots <laughs> and stuff like that, so... We're doing the Mesa Super Fortress up here. But I think he's over here somewhere. And if I recall, it's on the south side. Uh, Ufa puts the, the small ramp at the end to give you a little kick lift off. Yeah, yeah, I guess you could do that. Getting your creative juices flowing. Well, I'm glad. Yeah, there's so much you can do now with the new shapes. It's hard to even imagine what you could build. I have to kind of like get my mindset out of like the cube structures that we've been so limited to for so long. You know, now I said this and this probably isn't even where he lives. Does he live way down there, maybe? You know, of course, the dynamic meshes don't really render in unless you're super close to them, so I could be flying right past it. Hey, doll. How are you today? Oh, was anyone here watching Echo stream last night that can help guide me to where he lives? I know he was over here, like, building up, uh, digging up a buried supply. He was on the top of this one right here, and that's where he died. Yeah, Echo died because his um, buried supply was on top of one of these. <laughs> he should have fled when he had the chance. Oh, that's an artificial forest if I've ever seen one. Is somebody living over here? Is Echo living over here? Aha! Yes, 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 yes. There it is. I knew when I saw the trees that I must be getting close. Here we go. Oh, he's probably all locked up. And if he is, I'm going to cheat my way in. Ah, he's all locked up. No! Well, we got a solution for that. Dev mode. 
Got to do what you got to do here. All right. I just want to give you guys a little quick tour here. I mean, I've never been here, so it's like new to me as well. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely trusting that the zombies are not going to be able to dig down on top of him. I don't know that they would necessarily. Especially if you put a land claim block. Ooh, what's this? Oh, yeah, this is what Echo does. He makes like an underground portion to like hide all the wires and stuff. Whoop, now I'd be stuck. Okay. And then he's going to do a ramp going all the way up here. I don't know how far he's gone yet. I don't know if he has storage up here or anything. But wow, this is going like deep, deep into the mountain. Oh, look at that. He's got some sort of a, like a surface structure up here, I think. Whoa. Oh. Okay. I like this. It's like a little oasis in here. Nice. Oh, I love the garden. I should steal this. <laughs> what happened to my garden? Oh, I don't know. What garden? Maybe uh, the zombies knocked it out. You didn't have any walls, so... <laughs> cool. Yeah, I can see how this is going to shape up. It's going to be really cool. I like this little uh, valley that he's chosen to, to put everything in. And he's pretty close by, too, so if he builds high enough, you might be able to see my mountain base as well. Ah. I can't shoot on this thing. This is more for hip fire, I think. I get so much shit for hip firing. Do you guys hip fire, or do you guys, like, aim down sight? Because for one... Like, it limits my peripheral visibility when I aim down sight. Like, not that I don't do it, but... I just, like, when I'm in combat with more than one zombie, I prefer to aim down sight. Alright, we can turn, um... Debug menu and stuff off. Don't need that anymore. Already cheated enough, got my hunger and my health and all that to full. Oh, jeez. Am I going the right way here, or...? No. I need to go north. I got all turned around. Almost always aim, yeah. So I guess there's just two groups of people. Hip fire people and aim people. <laughs> aim down sight. Honestly, I don't think it matters. Like, if you have your weapon configured one way or the other, it's fine. You know, do whatever suits you. Because, like, if I put the heavy barrel on a weapon and like a scope it's gonna hurt my hip fire accuracy but if i put like a retracting stock and a foregrip on my rifle and like a reflex sight or not a reflex sight a um laser sight that's gonna help my hip fire accuracy so you know whatever you're configured for i think i just i feel like See, my mouse sensitivity changes, too. My look sensitivity changes when I aim down the sight. So, I don't know. So, I'm just more comfortable with the uh, hip fire, usually. Especially close quarters. Like, from here to that cactus, you can hip fire just as easily as not. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, you can see where your bullets are hitting better if you aim down the sight. Do you run faster with empty hands? Uh, I don't think so, no. Your uh, weapon doesn't affect run speed. I mean, we can test it real quick. I mean, go to character. Uh, look, mobility is 82%. Take my weapon out, it's still 82%. So, no. Not affecting anything. 
Where's my gyrocopter? Aha. Oh, I like how Echo gives me shit for planting a gigantic lag forest and then he plants two of them. <laughs> Hypocrite. Hey, Nag. The building goes well. We're making... Well, we, we you know, I put a pause on the tavern there. Gonna wait for some more inspiration to flow in. And then I started building a gyrocopter landing pad. And then I was just checking out Echo's... Whatever he's calling it. Like, um... Oasis Castle. With, like, underground ent entrance. Gotta love the view in the desert, though. Of all the biomes to build in, probably the desert would be my favorite. Uh, where's home? Oh, missed it. <laughs> I think I might run down and do a little bit of work on the fighting position. Because I haven't really worked down there in a while. Okay, good. We're good. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a better position for takeoff and landing. And then I will... Basically what I'll do is... I will find a position. I think we'll just flush it right up. Because it's flush over here with the tower, the edge of the tower. So we'll kind of like make the edge of the tower here where we start to kind of curl it back in with ramps. If uh, if I could just get the right radial button here on face like that. Well, we're actually just going to need probably two of these, one being cubes. So like something like this. And I'll probably just knock most of this out. I, we won't need this unless I end up building something underneath this, which I, I might, I very well might do that. I do quite like the idea of having something over there. Oh, and this... Um, I don't know yet how wide I want to make this. Do I want to make this too wide? Like that, and then have it kind of drop down. Cause my idea is to have like, um, like a fortified kind of castle wall, kind of enclosing this area, and kind of like this, where there's like, you know, it's it feels fortified. But I do also want to have like a walk down area to that tower, and then like a rail so that it's not just a wall. You can kind of like go up to the railing and look down out here. So I think that will start here, which means I can go one more. Like so. I think that works. Yeah, yeah, this will work. And then I'll just start with like a railing starting like right here. Oh, maybe make like a nice little archway here. Like nicer than that, of course, but that's the start of it. And this would just be castle wall. And then we would put crenellations up like this. You know, just kind of like roughly drawing it out right now. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. And then we'll just run that right along the edge to this tower. Is that going to sync up? Oh, that's going to fit perfectly with the center of this. I'll just move the doorway over to this side. So this will be the doorway. I mean, not perfect, but it'll do. Yep, yep, yep. Just like that. All right. Good. Am I out of wood again? Do I have any more? Did I drop off all the wood over here? Can't bring myself to hit fire. Yeah, well, you must be one of the people that comments all the time saying, why are you not aiming down the site? That's nah, all good. 
I'm all for getting tips and stuff. You know, open up the discussion. No big deal. Okay, we got the nail gun. We have got the concrete mix, cobblestone, wood, and we'll need... Well, we'll need iron, but... Yeah, I don't have any, so... Tough. Tough luck. Here we go. Would love to have an elevator. I hope this even works. Like, I, this works in single player, but experiences vary in multiplayer. And so I don't know if this is viable at all. Like, we could just set up here for a horde night and nothing happens. Or they, like, dig through the mountain and collapse the base. Or <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. I can't tell you. But this is going to be the classic fighting position right here. So I'll just build this real quick. I've done this a hundred times. So uh, kudos to Dragon Angel for discovering this shape here. This is a really good shape for the top of your shelf to fight zombies from. On the bottom now, you'll find out, you'll, you'll get the full tutorial on this tomorrow, I guess, when I... Is that right? Yeah, that's right. When the, uh, the new episode of... What's it called? Frostbite premieres. Then you need... This shape... Um, that shape. So I used to put like grates here and I used to only put them in the back because I wanted the zombies to, the, the, the crawlers and the dogs to kind of go up in under so that I could kill them better and sort of like sort them from the taller zombies, the full size zombies. But now that all zombies can crawl, all the zombies want to do is crawl up under there and it becomes like a big issue because they can you just have such a higher volume of them to deal with. So I don't want that anymore. We're done with that. Done. We are now shielding them at the front, but it's still going to be see-through or like, you know, you'll be able to shoot through it or you'll be able to like put a turret down and shoot through it so that dogs and thing and the zombies do still like to crawl. And I think it's... Because what I typically do out here is I get the, go to construction pieces and get the eye beam small, advanced rotation it so that it's facing out like this. And quite honestly, that might not be the best shape because you can almost see and you can appreciate how there is a lip here where there's a space that kind of goes under the eye beam. And I think that triggers them to want to crawl Whereas if it's not there, what they want to do is jump to get to you. So perhaps there's a better shape here for the outside bumper. And I haven't really explored this yet. Scaffolding ramp filler. I believe I have used this before in testing. Oh, geez, that is teeny tiny, isn't it? Oh, hey, Echo. I was just um, exploring your base there a minute ago. It's looking really good. I want to watch out for that garden. It's looking awfully tasty over there. <laughs> I know where to get my food if I really get desperate. I don't have a garden yet. Working on it. We're just playing down here at bedrock level. Trying to sort out the fighting position. There's only going to be one, and that's because we're going to have plenty of other people down here hopefully helping out. Oh, this is the guy that's calling me right now. My cell phone's ringing. It's the guy that delivered my friggin' camera, my streaming camera, to someone in New York. Uh, I mean, kudos to them. They actually found it and they rerouted the shipping to go to me. But it was supposed to be here last Friday. And I got the delivery notification like, your camera has been delivered to Astoria, New York. And I'm like, I don't live in New York. What the hell? Oh, Echo's going to make fancy high-end food. I don't even know what I could make for food. I think I could make, like, hobo stew or... Uh, I, I don't think I can make any food, honestly. I don't think I found any recipes. 
Just trying to find the um, the right shape here. Yeah, someone said door frame. I it's the door frame. I mean, it's like a possibility, but um, what I'm looking for is something that's flat. Oh, like this? No, 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 no. That's that's not. I don't think that'll work. Not flat enough. Yeah, Mikey, <laughs> no face cam for your birthday. Everything is all set up. Like the office is finally good to go. See, that's a pretty cool shape there, but I don't think I don't think it's um flat enough. I mean, ultimately I might just have to go with the I beam just for the 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 combination of functionality with aesthetics. We could use these pillars. The pillar is 0 0.25 meter. 0 0.025. Hmm. Could do that, actually. I think I will. Let's try that. Let's try that, and if it fails, then we will die a glorious death. <laughs> Maybe that will prevent them from like crouching down so much. So let's dig this out here. We'll get the top framed up. Oh man, this uh, quality six auger doing so much better. It's gonna save me a lot of time. A lot of time and a lot of carpal tunnel syndrome. Good, whoops. What did I do? Wrong shape. Oh, so what I was saying is I got my office all set up. It's 100% good to go. I put the foam panels up. I finished putting them up this morning. So they're back on the walls. I had to take them down because I had to repaint the walls. And uh, we're good. We're good to go. The lighting is set up for the most part. I do need to order my disc plates. That's the one thing that is left to do. Because I'm going to decorate some of the area behind me with disc plates. So you guys have some, some more interesting backdrop for the stream. I've kind of, what I was doing earlier is I was kind of holding off because I want to see what's going to be in the camera view before I go too crazy with decorating behind me. So right now it's just like my bookshelf is behind me with like textbooks from college and whatnot, you know, reading books. Um, what else? I got? You know, pictures, sculptures, you know, just knickknacks, odds and ends, things I've collected in my travels and whatnot. So actually, I need to bring the steel down here before I totally complete this. So yeah, it's gonna look, there's gonna be another set of bars on this side. Oh, come on. Why do you gotta be so uh, simple? Simple rotation, there we go. So it's gonna be like this basically on this side. You know, I'll use the better shape for the end so it looks nicer. But I, I don't think I can actually get in there. Yeah, I can't get in there to upgrade that. So I'm going to have to wait on these until I get the steel. And then we can finish off upgrading these. I think I probably could... I need to get some hatches. And then we'll get the good shapes here. The These are like stair shapes that we have to use. Can also make learning elixir if we get enough acid. Ah, I don't know, man. Acid is hard to come by. There's a double pole that works really well. Well, let's have a look. Double pole like this. Where though? Where do you want me to put this? I mean, I kind of see, I think, what you're saying, like, maybe like this. You definitely could. And then you could put the I-beam across the top. That does restrict visibility a little bit. But, you know, in my opinion, fortunately, I think I want to give this, like, a fair whack. 
using the uh, the railing blocks because you know they did get nerfed for a little while, but they've been unnerfed, so they're still they're back up to like full hit points. So the one we want are in the stairs, these right here. Now I just have to think for a minute. That's not the one. That's the one. And then this one. You know, honestly, this is not the best shape to put here. But when I'm filming a Horde Night, like, you know how I get camera shots from like, the camera's out there, and then I'll do one like the camera's out there, and then I'll do one where like the camera's behind me. And if I did like a single block opening for me to fight through, you're not gonna be able to see shit. So it wouldn't be as good aesthetically. So maybe there's that, that one caveat for this setup is that it's just like good, it's visibly good. It's strong and yet, you know, you still have, the light shines through it well, explosions like kind of light up the whole thing. You can see all the zombies. It just works better. That one? Mm. Yeah, that that works. You know, the way you don't want to do it is like that, because see how it starts to flicker? That's bad. We don't like that. Just gonna get, oh, right there. Right there. And then we can do that same thing here on the outside. Why am I wet? That's ridiculous. Uh, just like that. There we go. So it's basically three blocks to get through on this side three blocks eventually to get through on the bottom and it'll be three blocks to get through here at this level. Plus you'll have two vault hatches on the top. Yeah, I'm not 100% not confident that that little railing block there is the one we we're looking for, but it looks nice anyway. Especially if I paint it like a contrasting color, like, you know, red on this with like black on the bottom and I don't know, like white on the top. I think it'll be, it'll look good. There we go. That is it. Just knock this out. I mean, there's a, there's a whole lot more to go into this. That's for sure. But this is the gist of it right here. This will hold. Yeah, I could make it yellow like a do not cross line. Yeah, it could. Eventually what I want to do is put traps here as well somewhere. Maybe this would be like the trap box right here. You know, work yet to be done on this, I guess. But this is going to be like the fighting area for allies back here. And then this back here should probably be like... Like a steel backdrop. There definitely shouldn't be a window here. Because you don't want your friend sitting right here and then just get shot in the face by like a stray bullet. Just going to have to be careful of like the crossfire here. In fact, you know, it might be better if it was like... A little bit higher so that you are forced to kind of shoot low and therefore you wouldn't hit your allies i think that's how i'll set it up versus being like on this level i'll have it kind of like oriented so you're shooting down at an angle the last piece of this is some on face hatches and as long as these are vault hatches and you upgrade them, if you're doing the uh, Horde Knight repairs, you should be good. You shouldn't really need a, a fallback position. 
even a demo, if a demo went off, I don't think he's going to do damage to all of these blocks at once. Might do damage to a couple of them at a time. Where's that? I kind of want to try this, though. Because on this side, it doesn't make as much of a difference. It's not, not terrible. You, you lose a tiny bit of visibility there. You know what we should do, though, is like... Dig this out. Because then it wouldn't really matter if there's limited visibility or not. So if you're up here, you know, you're on you're on the, the right level for fighting, melee fighting or whatever. But then, like, some zombies are crawling. You need to take care of them. First of all, have your turret down with you. Second of all, fall back. Put, like, a little ramp block here. And just kind of drop down. And get some easy headshots on the zombies that are, like, ducking down or dogs or, you know, whatever else falls down here. Yep, yep. Yep, that'll work. I like that. Then same thing over here. I'm just going to put some blocks down to remind myself we are going to be fighting a little bit more elevated. So I'll have to I'll dig another layer up. And we'll have some good lights here as well. Good lighting. I gotta dig out the box a little bit more on the bottom. And then I was thinking, instead of building like a back wall, just leave it as like the raw stone, because I think it looks kind of cool. And it's better than digging like anywhere else, because you have this nice red stone that kind of is brighter. All right. I think we're good down here. Got the fighting position. Let's head back up. Need to probably ultimately decide on a way to get in and out of here consistently. I'm so reluctant to put like um, a ladder going down into this area because I don't want zombies to see that as a way to get in. I don't quite know. And of course, I don't want a ladder in here because I want the zombies to fall down, not ladder their way down, climb their way down. Next toward at my joint. Um, <laughs> give me, we'll see how things go for this week. When is the next horn? It's day 70. Um, not that good at math. Let me get a calculator here. What are we doing? It's um, 14 days are the horde nights, right? So isn't that, doesn't that mean Horde's coming right up here? Am I doing the math right that uh, today's Horde night? Day 70? <laughs> it's the fifth Horde, right? Today's Horde. Oh, shit. Um, crap, 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 crap. I don't want to do Horde tonight. <laughs> we can do Horde here, but um, I need to take a break for one. And for two, like, this is not even close to being done. Oh, boy. We should really do some more work on it, though, shouldn't we? This could be, I don't even have enough ammo for Horde Knight to do it, like, all by myself. Use the community base? I could do that, I guess. I don't even have any steel. Here. Ah! Whoa. Here. Oh, there we go. Oh, boy. Oh! Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, yes, Echo's doing a community um, charity stream. So what Wayward Echo does is uh, once in a while he does a live stream to support uh, local, or not local, but like children's charity. Echo, uh, drop drop a link or something to your upcoming stream so that people can join that if they want to. 
I don't know if you're allowed to post links in the chat. Maybe I can. Let me. I'm gonna go do that real quick. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah. So um, extra life. It's a nonprofit organization to raise money for children's hospitals, and I totally support what Echo is doing there. He has a sort of personal reason for doing that, and if he wants to share that with you, uh, he, you know, by all means, I'm not gonna say anything else. But you know, he he does a lot of good for a lot of people by using gaming as a way to like generate money for these kids that you know need it, that need help. I mean, if you're familiar with like the news, you probably heard how ridiculous healthcare is in the US. And, uh, you know, I work in healthcare, I have my whole career, and I see it every day, the disadvantage that some people are put at fi over finances, basically, and it's ridiculous. You know, my treatment decisions are dictated by insurance companies more so than anything. It's frustrating. Ah, Echo, your your stream is not posted yet, so I can't post a link. And you probably already said that, but ah, just go go over to his channel and subscribe while you're at it. Like, why not? You got nothing to lose there and everything to gain because Echo's a good guy. He's a good streamer. He's a great builder. I've taken a ton of inspiration from him in building this place, just just this place here. So, yeah, go check him out. Uh, anyway. My friends, I'm going to call it a stream right here, right now. So thank you so much for joining me today and for all of the support and, uh, you know, hitting the like button, you know, stuff like that. I really appreciate it. I will be back on next Friday for another stream. Uh, I'm trying to kind of reel things back a little bit because I've been really busy over Alpha 20 trying to get all kinds of fresh content out there. Like I wanted to get the loot video out, the... Uh, um, beginner's guide, you know, so I, I'm a little bit, um, I don't want to say I'm burnout. I'm not really burnout. I'm just, I've been doing too much. And so I'm kind of reeling it back. We're doing three videos a week now. So you'll see a video on Saturday. That'll be frostbite. You'll see two more videos, one on uh, Tuesday, one on Thursday. I think one of them will be a one night stand and the other will be an episode of frostbite. But anyway, I will catch you guys either at echo stream here in a little bit or maybe i'll see you around in the comments but um anyway we'll call it right here take care everyone have a great weekend and uh see you later